everybody, this is Kat the Gamer Gal, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Now, you're probably wondering why the hell my uh, screen is paused. Uh, well, one, I'm kind of busy trying to take care of some of my phone. Uh, but s mostly um, because of... Um, well, something I did a lot off screen, and I, I knew that every other pause screen, or even me just standing out in the open, would kind of give away what I've done off screen for you guys. So I thought, eh, might as well wait until I get back on the game and start streaming again. So, yeah, there is, um, there's a lot of work I did. I put a lot of work into what I have done overall and I I just want to show it to you guys so without further ado I suppose I'm going to reveal to you guys what I did so here we go so as you can see everyone is ready to level up I figured I'd wait I wouldn't level nobody up not until I got back into the game. And I knew that if I didn't get back into the game, then I, I, I mean, well, not really that. I should let me just re let me rephrase this. I knew that if I did this off screen, I wouldn't be able to surprise you guys with how much work I put into what I did. So if you guys remember in the last stream, uh, which was yesterday for everyone here, um, I told everyone about a glitch, a quest glitch that uh, earns you 50 silver every single time you uh, do it, as well as experience points. Well, let's just say I bought 999 spring triggers to make 999 spring traps. This is when I finally exited or stopped excuse me, this is when I finally stopped streaming I decided to do this I had just enough gold to do it I didn't know where the, the maximum number was um, I, I, I kinda guessed I was like maybe it's 150 I think that's like the max amount of sovereigns you can have um, I'm wrong so before I tell you exactly how much money I have First, let's see exactly how far we leveled up because the last time I remembered we were like maybe level 13, perhaps? I honestly don't know. Um, I don't have the chat up just yet, but I'm about to. Um, like I said, I'm still working on this thing on my phone. But yeah. So, uh, I think we were like level, maybe level 13 the last time I, I seen. So, let's see what level we are now, because I actually forgot. <laughs> okay, so Liliana, everyone's 17 except me. Viola is level 18. Because I after a while, I was like, you know what, I'm going to take everyone out of my party, because I don't need everyone in my party, I just need Viola. So I took everyone out of the party, and I left Viola in the party by herself. And upon doing so, um, I was actually able to kind of do it a little bit faster and, and not accidentally talk to the characters in my party. And, yeah, I was able to do that. Now, for the amount of gold I made... Um, I mean, you think that's enough? I mean, I don't know if 218 sovereigns is going to be enough in this playthrough, but hey, if you guys think that's enough, then hell, I'm not doing this glitch no more. We're sold. We're done. We we could wipe our hands from that glitch and not have to worry about doing it anymore. Har har har. So yeah, I wanted to wait until um, I started streaming again to level everybody up to surprise y'all. So I, I was able to get everyone up to level 18, except, of course, all the other characters. They all leveled up to 17. So I'm the only one with, like, the highest level. Let's see, Sugar Kami said, I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah. I think 218 sovereigns is plenty of gold for this playthrough. By the way, welcome to the stream. <laughs> and I'm actually on time, guys. Like, I'm actually a minute early, which is perfect. Alright, so I'm actually going to take the time to go ahead and level everybody up. Um, everybody has one extra specialization that they can use when you hit level 15. Uh, s since I'm playing a rogue that dual wields, I'm definitely going to probably go for assassin because I definitely want that critical chance. So we'll go with that. 
Now, I remember Viola's strength needs to be at least 22 to wear the boots. So, I'll quickly do that. I believe it was 22. In fact, let's do this. Let me actually back out real quick. And let me take a look at those, uh, those boots. It was these. Yeah. I need to have a strength of 22 to at least put them on. So, that's what I would do. Let's go ahead and, and level everyone up. There. Alright, and I said I was going to pick the assassin um, trait. Or specialization, I should say. So we're going to do the assassin specialization. And then we're going to continue leveling up all this other good stuff that we need to level up. Because it's very important we level all this up now. <laughs> Alright, and I think I'll put the last two points in one of each. Might as well. Alright. So let me see. Let's get this and this. And uh, just for safekeeping, I... Well, I mean, this is not going to hurt us if we level this up more. Let's see, Prosty said that's one heavy boots. <laughs> yeah, right? They're... It's funny because they're leather... They're... El like, they're... They're... They're a light armor. Light armor elven boots. And yet they cost 22 strength to wear. <laughs> I'm like, hey, whatever, I suppose. Um, okay. Let me actually take a peek here. So, uh, detect nearby creatures with a equal or low level. Skill also grants a small bonus to nature resistance, which I think I'm gonna definitely... Yeah, I think I'm gonna level this up for Viola, because, um, I really need to. I need to do these, too. I need to level these up as well. Because then that way she has more tactic, uh, tactical slots. Which is very important for a character to have a lot of tactical slots. But I'm gonna go do nature resistance first first. Uh, Finge Death. Yes. Very good skill. It's a very, very good skill indeed. Okay, so we got Assassin. Let's go ahead and uh, let me actually take a couple points, put them in Assassin real quick. And I got one more point to spend on something. Ooh, Momentum. Momentum is actually a really good ability. It, um, yeah, it's a sustained ability. It kind of actually increases, yeah, it increases attack speed. Uh, I feel like for me it increases like actual movement speed, but that's probably just me. <laughs> I just really want to get this. I, I want to get up to whirlwind, so we're really close to getting uh, thirty dexterity. Um, everyone's at level. Well, everyone's at level seventeen. Viola's at level eighteen. Uh, when you get to level fifteen, you get two specialization slots. So I am. Yeah, I'm gonna work on this. As much as I would like to keep having passive abilities, I think it's probably best I work toward Whirlwind real quick. Unless, hold on, let me see. Oh. Ooh, a bonus to defense? I could do that. Ooh, and I can inflict damage over time from making enemies bleed. I could do that too. Those are passive abilities. Yeah, let me see this one real quick, actually. Uh, gaining bonus to critical chance as well as possibly with each hit to inflict bleeding lacerations that continue to damage. Ooh. Ooh, so that's two for two that makes bleeding, that could cause, uh, that could inflict bleeding on enemies, which is very important. Hello, Blue, welcome to the stream. Um, just to give you a quick heads up, Blue, uh, everyone is at level 17, Viola, our warden, is at level 18, because I took everyone out of the party and I just left Viola the only one in the party. Um, and we literally just got done. We we're about to finish leveling her up real quick. And I'm like contemplating on what one skill I want to purchase. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this too. Uh huh. Oh, wait. Okay. Additionally, if the rogue's cunning score is greater than strength, sharpness of mind lets the character use the cunning modifier to reflect. Attack damage in place of strength modifier. Hell yeah, never mind. Fuck that. Take that. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, let's actually quickly put those boots on. Boop. Nice. So sadly, those are not good anymore. I'm actually going to see which one's better for Liliana. Um, I mean, this one's stronger. Because it's got 25, uh, 0.25 more uh, armor. But this one has a lot of good like abilities to it plus one armor plus 10 percent chance to dodge attacks and avoid missile attacks which is very important and uh this is you know i'm gonna keep these boots as much as i don't need them i'm gonna keep them for sentimental value for our character all right now let's see alistair needs to be have 38 strength 
to wear the blood dragon plate. Which we will do. Let's see here. Prossy said, I think if I'm going to replay this game, I'm going to play as an elven rogue bow build. Nice, dude. Yeah, like, okay. Since Liliana, even though she starts with twin uh, twin daggers, um, it is always best to, like, keep leveling up her uh, archery tree because that's that's going to help you learn how to build your own archery tree. For me, I, I don't feel comfortable with archery in this game. I don't know why. And, I, and that's the thing with, with every single rogue character I build or I make in any game, I always have a bow. It doesn't matter what game it is. I always have a bow with me because I prefer archery over dual wielding. Uh, you can actually see this in Dragon Age 2 when I finally play that. I actually choose archery because for some reason it feels a little bit better in that game. I don't know why. It just does. Um, and then, of course, Inquisition. But for the, for some reason, when it comes to Origins, I don't know why, but I just don't like the, the archery in this game. It's weird. Well, I mean, it's not like I don't like it. It's more like I, I'm i not used to its build, I guess. I don't know. I will have to make a bow build eventually because I am curious as to how well that plays. I need to definitely work on that. Alright, so let me actually see something here. Um, oh, wow. I could. I could do that. Grant and Morgan will be wearing pretty much Viola's mom's boots, so sentimental value was super weird, but you know. Let's see, Blee said, okay, cool. Uh, and probably because it's not in your hands. Probably. And he said, I'm sort of playing a turn based game seriously for the first time, probably ever. Still, uh, it takes some. Uh, same, it takes some getting used to. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, I think that it'll be the same with me when it comes to. <sighs> Morgan, I'm so sorry. You're gonna look so dumb. I'm sorry. She she needs to wear it for right now. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. <laughs> she just looks so stupid. Just like, <laughs> She just looks so dumb. Okay, anyways. I'm sorry, Morgan. Alright, let's level up everybody else real quickly. Um, Alright, so I think for Alistair, I'm definitely... I'm not going to go these routes. I'm going to go champion with him. So that's his next specialization. Now it was 38. So sadly, I just used almost all my points on that, but I really wanted to make sure he was leveled up. Now, I know his dexterity needs to be at 20 at least. I'll go ahead and max those two out. All right, and then give him one for that. And let's see. Um, let's go down here. So yeah, I need to have tw uh, 26 dexterity seems to be the highest I need to go. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good ability. These are, these are like, okay, so we got these good abilities. This is a good passive ability. That's a good passive ability too. Let's look at his other stats here that we need. There's so many good abilities. Okay, this is a, this is a good passive ability too. Okay, let's see. Prossy says, no, what are you doing to my Bay Morgan cat? I know, trust me. This is why I wish we had the options like in Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition where you can actually have helmets on your characters but hide them. Like, actually hide them. I I like that option, but sadly, Dragon Age Awakening doesn't... Or, excuse me, yeah, Origins and Awakening, they both don't have that option. So, I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I hate it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. And my mom said to pick the very best one, and you are not it. Okay. Oh, okay. That's actually not. That's actually not bad. That's a good skill to have too. Um, I'll go ahead and do that one. Actually, there we go. Sorry, Morgan. I know you look stupid now, Morgan. Okay. Here's something I've been contemplating when I was when I was leveling everyone up with the with the quest glitch. Do I really want to make her a blood mage? Because the last time I made her a blood mage, I was playing my uh, mage warden build. Um, it was my second playthrough on normal mode, and now for for that character, I actually made him an arcane warrior. And I love Arcane Warrior, but my question is, do I really want to make her a Blood Mage? Or do I want to make her an Arcane Warrior so she could be a badass who wields a sword? No. No, 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 no. Because she gets that special outfit once you do this one quest for her. So no, I think... 
For more again, I'm gonna make her a blood mage again in this in this build. Or in this save file, I think I will. Um, if I were playing a mage, I would personally make myself an arcane warrior. But because this is more again, I think it's probably best we do blood magic. Let's see here, Prosy said, uh, that kind of thing is why you have mods. Exactly. Especially for Origins and Awakening. You need mods for those games. <laughs> there, there's, there's no denying it. You need mods when it comes to this game. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make her a Blood Mage. Um, so sadly she'll be sucking our health out of us. But, uh, it's, um, hopefully we'll find a way to mitigate that. Let's see here, Blue, you said, I I don't like Blood Mage because of the health. No, I agree. I agree. It's That's the only issue I have, is that it sucks the health of... Uh, yeah, the blo uh, the mage must sacrifice their own blood or the blood of allies to fuel these abilities, which that super sucks. But that's how it is. Because when we get Win, Win is a spirit healer. So she is definitely going to always be in the party um, to heal us, which is the reason why, Prosta, it still baffles me that you never had Wynn in your party. Wynn is, like, the ultimate healing character. I'm still so surprised that you never had her in your party. Oh, heaven's mercy. That's actually how you learn Spirit Healer, too, is through her. She teaches you how to do sp Spirit Healer. Healer. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways. <laughs> Let's see, Prosty said, Cat, I'm gonna lurk. Just a heads up. Okay, that's totally fine. That's totally fine, Prosta. You do that. Um. Okay, I think I might add... I might actually boost these up, I think. So let's do that. Uh-huh. And... Okay. Let's see. I think... Which one was it that helped make them dodge... Um, I think it was this one. No, that easily finds more weaknesses. Um, high dexterity improves the chances of a character to hit. More likely to dodge incoming blows. Okay. That, that's probably what I'll do is probably use the rest on dexterity. If not, I'll probably do health. Let me see here, Blue. You said, I've only played like twice all the way through. Win was there both times. Actually, that might not be true. It's been a long time. <laughs> For me... Like, uh, my first playthrough, I took almost maybe a hundred or so hours playing it because I wanted to make sure that I did everything correctly and the path that I wanted and have every character and make sure everyone was happy. <laughs> so that's another thing, guys. This episode might be super boring. There probably won't be a lot of fighting in this one. There's gonna be a lot of talking and getting to know the characters and having conversations with them. Having conversations with them and stuff like that, but I hope you don't mind. I really hope that you don't mind that. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and use this for health. It's not gonna hurt. Alright, so I'm gonna have her... Yep, full up on Herbalist. Eh, <sighs> yes. Oh my heavens. It's a waste. I only have one more left, but... i rather... i rather her know all of these... i rather her know all of these... And not know anything else. Now, I really wish I could take the chance to take these out of here and, like, get rid of them. Because I would only do rock armor. And then I would start working on these. Okay, you know what? How about this? Let me see some real quick. Uh-huh. Let's actually take those off. I want the arcane shield especially. So let's take two points off. Let's see if I can get my crushing prison. It looks... I've got plenty of points. But can I get it in one go? Yes. And this, this right here, is my favorite ability. Because it does bonus to armor penetration. Based on the caster's spell power. Oh, and provides greater damage against heavily armored foes. Yes. Give it to me. Alright, so let me, before I level up Liliana, let me actually take care of her tactics. And let's fix this proper. Uh, so, okay. What I'm going to do is I am... She's got a horror twice. Let's actually take this off. And let's actually activate mode. Uh, we're going to activate tele... Uh, yeah, telekinetic. I call it telekinesis, but it's not telekinetic. So, kinetic. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it kinetic for sure. We're going to call it... Um, we're going to put that on. 
And what we're going to do is, um, no, ally, uh, how do we do this? Uh, we're going to assume self. Hmm. Status. No, 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 no. Hmm. I really honestly wouldn't know what you would, like, how you would do this. I'm going to assume any. I'll just do that. Let's let's do it like this. Let's actually move this, too. Can I move it? Yes, I can. Let's do like this. There we go. And we'll move that up a couple. And move this up a couple, too. There we go. Let's see here. Uh, Blue, you said... Uh, I want to say... It got, um, I got it when it came out because at the time I was employed, that was 09. Yes, this game came out in 2009. Uh, I remember my first build. Man, that was a mean lady. <laughs> she was just selfish and violent. Every time I, a choice came up, who do I kill? <laughs> That's what you did with your character? Was that, like, that was what your first character was, Blue? Oh my god, dude. My first character, I was just a goody two-shoe that just loved Alistair and wanted to romance Alistair. <laughs> That was the reason I did everything I did, because I wanted to make Alistair happy. <laughs> okay, now she's done. Let's go ahead and work on Liliana. And Liliana, I'm going to give her Ranger, because that just seems like they're... This is usually what the build I go for her, is Ranger build. Let's do 30 Dexterity. 25 Cunning. Uh, get Magic to 25 so she can have... I like it when these numbers are even. <laughs> I can't stand when they're not even. Um, I think dex um, yeah, dexterity needs to be higher, but so does cunning. Mm, we'll do dexterity. Alright, so her stealing is maxed. Uh, I think I'll work on getting these opened up, so that she'll have more abilities to use. Uh, see, she's a master of lockpicking, but I'm not going to level this up. I'm not going to level the lockpicking skill up, because I'm already... I'm already max level with mine personally, so I'm not going to do that. I am, however, going to do this. Max these out. Um, and then work on her archery skills. There we go. Perfect. I'm okay with what that was. I'm not even going to, like, think twice about it. So, yeah, she's good. I think the only thing Liliana needs now is some gloves, and sadly nobody sells gloves here. It's ridiculous. But let's go ahead and fix Alistair up. Yes! Look at that blood dragon armor. You look good. You look good, okay? Super good. Alright, anyways. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Blue, he said, yeah, I like to be good too. But I was coming from Oblivion where combat was free. And I just wanted as much as possible too. <laughs> Let's see, Edamon, he said, level 17? <laughs> well, everyone's level 17 except for Viola. Viola is level 18. Um, the only reason I, uh, she's higher than everyone is because I took everybody out of the party. I took everyone out, except, obviously, she can't leave because she's the main character. Lasted. So I did that. I basically removed everyone from the party. So. Yes. We're Indeed. good, though. Indeed. There. We got everyone in our party, see? All's good. We're good. Sadly, Morgan looks dumb. <laughs> and I hate that. <laughs> By the way, yes, Etno Man. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the stream. Also, Etno Man, you probably noticed um, that should be enough money, don't you think? <laughs> I worked really hard. Uh, since I don't think anyone here was here earlier when I said this, um, uh, I I went on back in the tavern and I bought nine hundred and ninety nine spring triggers and made 999 spring traps. And then I gave every single one of them to that lovely lady named Allison, and she gave me 50 silver every single time and some experience points. So, I it took about maybe, well, d depending on how fast your your fingers can move when you're doing the whole like actually making the traps and then also giving them to her by skipping dialogue and all that shit. It takes about maybe an hour, if not 30 minutes depending on how fast you do it. So, for me, because I actually was cleaning up the house, I I took about maybe an hour and a half because I was doing it a little bit slowly. But yeah. <laughs> no man's like, oh shit. Yeah, dude. That's the power of glitching. <laughs> he said, that should do it. Oh, good. I'm glad. It will do it, I think. Um. Okay, so I did say 
uh, that I'm going to be doing, like, in this in this episode, we're probably going to be doing a lot of talking with characters. Uh, but before we do, there, I still want to talk to some characters that are here in town. And then, because of the ones I missed. You do and then I also... You think I look as oh my, my mother head. does, do you? Have you really oh been thinking about that all this time? I am simply curious. And not oh insecure God. in the slightest, I'm sure. I think I look nothing like her. I don't know. Give it a few hundred years and it'll be a spot-on match. I said that I look nothing like her. All right, got it. <laughs> totally different. I see that now. Oh my god. <laughs> so if my mic seemed to pop off there or like turn off there, I apologize. Uh, I, I made like a slight nudge against my knee and for some reason the headset came undone for like a split second I'm like whoa okay that's weird anyways <laughs> he said that should do it yeah that should do it i think i might have already read that anyways you hi and eileen spoke unto the masses my hearth is We're yours so peak. my bread is yours my life is yours oh my All god who walk in the sight of the maker <laughs> are one oh my god i okay okay you want to troll? Who's ready to see me troll this dude super hard? Okay, we're gonna troll this dude. I'm, I hate saying it, but I love it every single time I play, and it doesn't matter what character you play. It doesn't matter if it's a good character or an evil character. I freaking love trolling this character right here. Okay, so uh, let's just let's just go with the uh, uh, greetings. The chanter smiles and nods. Um, you don't talk much, do you? Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's Chanter Devons. Uh, what's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Um, so if I wanted a, a, to thatch a roof, I'd talk to him. There's all sorts of things on his board. Even traveling cell swords sometimes turn in postings. Okay, so he really can't speak at all. Unless it's the chant of light, no. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant. Then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. <laughs> A chanter says what? What? <laughs> oh, you've gone to speak. <laughs> <laughs> what hath man's sin wrought? <laughs> oh, he cheated. <laughs> I love it every single time. I know it's simple, but every time I see that option, I have to do it in this play, like any playthrough. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys. Blessed are the oh my God. Champions of the just. Oh my God, I'm crying a little bit. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, we did pick up all the quests. <laughs> Jesus. We found someone sleeping in our fields, in the hay. Oh, did you now? Okay. You freed that creature from its cage. Do you honestly think we need more killers on the moon? <laughs> Anyways. Yes, we do. Because he's a good boy. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> um, I also actually could talk to my companions right now. I could talk to them right here. Um, like, if I took everyone out and left Alistair... Uh, like I said in the last stream, a couple pieces of dialogue would actually be opened. So, there is that. There's an elf root, and I think there's either bandits or dogs in this field. I can't remember. Let's see. <laughs> and the man, you said, poor guy got tricked. Yes, he did. He got super trolled. <laughs> and I was right. There's some enemies here, but I don't know what they are. They are bandits! Let's go kick their butts, shall we? It shall be done. Okay. So this is actually important. We need to, we need to beat everyone up. <laughs> that actually reminds... Hold on, I got, like, better skills here. Let me fix that. <laughs> Let's see here. Blue, you said, fun fact, is the... Um, 
the lol emote is the most used emote uh, on I'm Glitch this year, beating out Kappa. Oh, on Twitch this year, beating out Kappa. Nice. Oh, you got the emote wrong. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So you're saying the the lol face is the most used emote, um, beating out the Twitch emote? Is that what you're saying? Because if that's what you mean, Blue, then that's cool. <laughs> Honestly, if you think about it. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a way to make them think, oh, hey, she's dead. Let's go move on to the next enemy. Derp, 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 derp. Alright. Uh, let me actually... No, 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 no. We're gonna do this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I... It shall be done. So we actually have a lot of skills I need to use here. Alright, I'm out of stamina, actually. As you say, it is begun. It's actually... Yeah, there we go. I will say I need to... Let me actually... I think I might actually take Deadly Strike and replace that with that. Mark of Death. Ooh. Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and replace my health. I'll go ahead and replace that. There we go. Look at that, y'all. Nice. Oh, there's an archer. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. You don't... You don't hurt. You don't hurt Alistair, okay? Alistair's cool. There we go. Noise. I will say... Um... Oh! Okay, you said no. What I meant to say, um... Was on... On twi the The Twitch and LOL emote was used more than the Kappa. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense uh, for this year. When Kappa has been the most popular for like three years? That's actually interesting. Okay, so the Kappa face has been very popular for like the last three years, but this past year... Um, the Twitch and... What do you need? Oops, sorry. Sorry, Alistair, babe. I, I don't I don't need anything right now. I'm sorry. I will need something later, though. Just, just say. I should, I should probably go back in my room and grab my, um, my Alistair, my little Alistair plush pillow, because it's super adorable and I love it. <laughs> um, okay, so what you're saying is, for the last three years, Kappa Face was the most popular, but now it's the lull and Twitch Face, and, oh, dogs. It is begun. And there I just wasted my skill. It's fine. There we go. This actually is very sad. It is begun. Alistair, why why are you just standing there, babe? It shall be done. I was just like, what the crap was Alistair just He was just standing there. Why? It shall be done. Okay, you know what? I this guy is This guy's fucking Alistair up, so let's go actually take care of him. There we go. Now, there is actually an area. Yeah, there's enemies on the other side of this wall. We're definitely gonna have to take care of them, because they got some cool stuff over there. Um, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> it's just there's so many emotes, I'm trying to figure out what you're saying, Blue. So, just the lull. Uh, okay, so you were trying to use the Twitch emote just instead of actually having to type out Twitch. That makes sense. I'm just being a dummy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, shows you what I know. Not a damn thing. Actually, since we're here, sorry, Liliana. I'm going to take you out of the party. Damnation. I'm sorry. I just, I need, I need, I need Bark Spawn, okay? Because he needs to level up. Anyway... Bark spawn. Let's level you up, buddy. He's a warrior, so we're gonna need to give him a lot of strength and health. Uh, his dexterity should be... Oh, he needs a 28. There we go. Now, I think for him... Let's give him more... I think it was willpower, right? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, you know what? Okay, this, this should be fine, because he does need a lot more of that. And his is easy to max out. So we're just gonna do that for him for now. I'm surprised he only had one skill to use after leveling up so much. Like, damn. <laughs> um, let's see here. I sometimes forget about the struggle in trying to read chat and stream. Yeah, it's, it's exactly the issue I'm having right now. Oops. Let me actually see what these do. Plus two dexterity. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Plus two stamina regeneration. Well, I think there's actually some animals up here, so we'll actually keep that on. Let's go up here. And this is actually perfect because Bark Spawn needs to um he needs to do what all animals do. It's very important that he he do this. 
there. Very important. Okay, that's that's important gameplay right there. No no lie. Wait, there's more enemies? Oh no, it's over here. Yes. So for those of you who don't know about Mabari dominance, basically when your dog well, does that in the game, it basically gives him a boost against other creatures in the area. Oh damn. Spiders. Oh. Very well. It shall be done. I hate spiders. I hate spiders. They're so damn loud. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them so much. Ugh, and I'm turning down the TV because I realize it's actually just slightly loud. I'm just like, nah. Damn. Hate spiders. Hopefully the game is still turned down enough for you guys and it's not too loud. But if it is, let me know and I will fix the volume because the spiders can be so damn ridiculous. Uh, let's see here. Um, Blue, said, would you say you are a talkative person in general? I have trouble opening up on stream, even though I talk to myself a lot. Yo, no, yeah, like, normal, like, okay, let's just say this. If I were, if you guys saw my face, like, right now, if I had face cam on and everything, if I had the ability to do that, um, I definitely would not be as talkative as I am, because I am a very talkative person. Um, especially once I get very comfortable which what, with what I'm doing, which is playing games, because I love talking about games. So, of course, I'm going to be very comfortable and talk about games and stuff. And other things. But if I had face cam on, I won't lie, I definitely would be more reclusive, so to speak. Because I don't like people looking at my face. Because the thing is, is I don't want people focusing on my face. You know, when I have face cam on, I don't like that because I get the feeling that people will be focusing on my face and not focusing on the game, which is what is I feel is more important. Yes, talking with me is great, but I love video games. <laughs> so that's I I don't know if that if that makes sense. What I'm saying, and Alistair's about to die. This poor boy. I shall go. It is begun. It shall be done. I shall. Yeah. All right, this archer is... Yeah, see, this archer As fucks everybody say. up in the distance. Like, seriously. Stop it! I cannot continue. Yes, we can! Besides, we just finished a quest. Yay! Let's take this. Finished. And take what's in this sack. And then we're going to loot everyone's dead corpse. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, like, I, I am a very talkative person. I like to think. Because you can't see my face. You can't see all the wacky expressions I do. <laughs> um, let me actually take the second here to look at my map. What what do I have? What is it I have? Okay, so we have that quest. Okay, now I can turn that quest in. All right, I think turning this quest in is actually going to unlock another quest on the Chanter's board, um, which makes us come out here and find the body of another character. So. Let's see here, please. Um, it's fine. Been reading your tweets lately. You seem very passionate about video games. Of course, dude. Like, I mean, it's funny because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. What my what technically technically to me what my very first game was. It's just sometimes the name escapes me because I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. <laughs> um, but I believe in the last. Now it's funny because Pro Jared actually played it, and all I could do was just go. <laughs> laugh about it and and just be like oh my god jared it's so simple <laughs> please don't don't hurt me oh don't hurt my memories my terrible childhood with this game no my childhood was great my childhood was great it was just the game thinking about it um it was called and i i believe the title is correct what well, it was called um crystal's pony adventure that was technically or no crystal's pony tale T-A-L-E. That was technically the very first video game I owned, but I never considered it the game that got me into gaming. Um, it was just a simple little cute girly pony game that didn't sell very well, but it was on the Sega Genesis and I wanted to play a game <laughs> like my brother. Are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. If anything, my brother basically... I, I watched my brother play games. I never... I never actually really got to play games a lot growing up. I always liked watching him. It was like me. It's kind of like... I don't know if I really want to use the word shadowing. Because I don't think that's the correct term. But in a way, it kind of is. It definitely does explain... 
Um, it definitely does explain how I feel about it, you know, looking back at it now. It's... It's interesting, thinking about it. Now, I will say, like, over time, I've, uh, when I got older and the PlayStation era finally came into our household, uh, I was, like, maybe about six years old, and I was, like... And my brother had made a friend in school, and that's when I had learned about Final Fantasy and Metal Gear Solid. And I was like, "Ooh, I like these games." Because my brother was more of a my brother was more of a Sonic. Uh, yeah, like he loved Sonic uh, more than any other game that he owned. So obviously, he played a lot of Sonic growing up. Me though, I just wasn't. I just liked watching. Wow. Morgan, you're like super far away. That might be- I think that might be because I set her to range, so that's why she's so far. Literally, none of you have loot on you. None of these poor doggos have- okay. Poor dogs. Okay. Alright, you found the body of the boy's mother and have recovered her keepsake. I like to think that maybe this was the boy- um, who, or in, the, in the last stream, who was sitting on the bridge waiting for his mom. I think that might be, I think that might be the boy's mom. I could be wrong. Now the, the wee bear bears are over here. Wild creatures ahead. Where are the bears? There are the bears. We are gonna die. Hi, bears. We bear bears. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to make fun of that show. It's, a, it's a, actually, it's not that bad of a show now. I think about it. Hey, that wasn't so bad. I nearly died, but I'm okay. I lived. And you you bears don't have anything? Really? Why are you guys not lootable? Ugh, my heart. Anyways. <laughs> Let's see, Bloom. Uh, we already read that. Uh, Zebo, you said I watched and backseated my brother so hard as a kid. Same. And it no man, he's like, Morgan's hat is not nice. No, I agree. I hate her hat. Which is why I wish that, um, like, I wish you had the option... Uh, to hide the helmet like you can like you can in Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition. But sadly, Dragon Age Origins and Awakening both don't have that option, so you're kind of stuck with looking at stupid hats. <laughs> Let's see, Prusty says, Oof, I can't imagine your brother's reaction to the Sonic movie. Actually, I have yet to actually talk to him about it, which freaking reminds me. Prasta, did you, did you realize that back in, I think, uh, I believe it was the year 2014... There was a fan film, a Sonic fan film. I looked it up on, uh, like, I was looking, um, I had found this person's, like, videos by, like, by random happenstance, and, uh, he, he watched the Plague Dogs, which I never got to see because I wasn't around that, during the time when the Plague Dogs came out, and Watership Down, so, like, and, and, like, I was watching a couple of these video, like, movie reviews that he's done, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I kind of remember this stuff, and then I saw... Sonic fan film. I'm like, okay, wait, what? <laughs> so I clicked it. And I'll just say this. It is extremely in interesting. Uh, I'll find the link and I'll send it to you on, on Twitter later so that you could take a check on it. Because it's, like, really weird. Let's see here. Blue, you said, I like Wee Bear Bears. Yeah, me too, man. I mean, I will say Cartoon Network had definitely had gone through a dark time. And they, in a, in a way, they kind of are a little bit with like some of the shows um for instance i absolutely don't like teen titans go now for the new generation you know i guess it's understandable they they're you know trying to make it i get i guess you know interesting for them but to be honest i prefer teen titans to teen titans go but that's just me personally um let's see here sugar Comey said because game Knows you exploited. <laughs> it probably does. Let's see, Sugar Comey said, When I was a kid, I used to watch my brother play Resident Evil. Exactly, same. Uh, I watched my brother play Resident Evil, and I won't lie, I actually sat behind my brother, and every time like a zombie was on screen, I literally took my shirt, because usually my shirt was really big on me, I would take my shirt and I would stuff my head inside my shirt just to hide my face. <laughs> While sitting behind my brother, but then, like, peeking out and actually, like, looking to watch him do, like, fight the zombies and stuff. Like, back in the 90s, guys, that, like, 
that was the golden era of video games, despite the terrible voice acting that we all make fun of today. <laughs> what a mansion! <laughs> and my favorite that I'm really good at at quoting. Oh, Barry! That was too close! You were almost a chill sandwich! You're right! <laughs> but anyways... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's see, Blue, you said, I know what you mean. I'm a, a little bit of an animation enthusiast. Uh, there was a bit of a lull last decade for uh, Cartoon Network, even though it's technically the adult swim half. Bringing back Toonami really helped, I believe. I agree, yeah, and that's... Okay, I will say, a couple years ago, uh, when they brought back Toonami, uh, they actually brought back Cowboy Bebop, and I tried at that time to record... Uh, the episodes, and sadly, I never, I couldn't, I just, it wouldn't allow, me, like, I think, like, at that time, we actually, like, had a lot going on, so I could never record all the episodes, and we eventually didn't have, uh, we had the cable cut off for a bit, because we needed to try and get back on track, it was just ridiculous, man, but, still. Let's see here, uh, Prosty said, The Amazing World of Gumball is a solid show, though. Oh, hells Yeah! There's even now. I think there was an episode where they actually went Let him all take anime. And shine upon they actually thee. done like a whole Thou anime fight scene. Work, it was so said. damn cool. Either and that or that was fan done. I, I'm not sure. That quiet, might have been. And all animals of Earth that and either might have one been a fan all animation in anime in form, and or two facts. that was a real scene from the episode. I can't say because I honestly, sadly, don't know. All right. So we done all the quests. We are now done. Because if we do a main, if we do one main story quest, and finish it, all the quests and everything here will be gone. So we can't, we won't be able to do any of those. And I, I want to make sure that we do everything before we leave. Um, I think that's all of it. We've done. Allison, Allison is still glitched. I can keep getting money and stuff with her if I want. Uh, I done the quest with her. Done the quest with the guy inside. Done everything over there. Got Sten. I think we may be good, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, Gumball is amazing. Or awesome, it is. And Sugar Cum is like, a Jill sandwich. Yeah, dude, a Jill sandwich. Jill sandwich. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's see, Prozzy said, that show always cracks me up. Oh, yeah, Gumball. Every single time. And I love, what I love about Gumball is the use of animation because there's so many different kinds of animation in one show. You got 2D, you got clay animation, you got 3D animation. It's you got computer generated characters, you know, like CG characters. You got all sorts of characters in the game. It's amazing how it's done. I love the the use of multiple uh like tech yeah, like technically multiple different um Animation types, if that makes sense. What? what now? What now? What now is that we got a group of dudes over here that are going to want to kid our girl butts. Let's see here. Sugar Combi said, I never had cable as a kid. Oh, me neither. Yeah, no, I never had cable as a kid, unfortunately. You said that you used to watch Nickelodeon all day. Avatar The Last Ember Airbender, though. For Okay, for me, the, um... For, this is for for like us who live in the U.S. I'm sorry for about for you guys overseas. I don't know what what channels these shows would have been on for y'all, but here in America there was um, a couple channels, uh, like like public channels. I'm not sure if this was actually a channel overseas. It might have been, because I don't know. <laughs> Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but the channel that I always watched was either Fox Kids or Kids WB, which. The WB channel has now been changed to CW for whatever reason, and now all the kids' shows on the kids' WB have been taken to um, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. I think Cartoon Network mostly. Like, Pokemon is uh, Pokemon used to premiere on uh, kids' WB, channel 58. <laughs> um, but now it's, it's, on, it's on Cartoon Network. So... That's who took over Pokemon. I see Prosty said there's a whole episode about RPG game. Uh, and it's super funny. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, I've watched almost every single Gumball episode. Because we like we in, we love Gumball in this house. Um, let's see here. Sugar Kama, you said, I'm super excited about the R uh, RE2 remake. Yes. Yes. Although, sadly, I won't be able to purchase that myself. 
um, because like I said, I had to I had to make a decision. Do I really want Resident Evil 2 or do I really want Devil May Cry? Now, I will say growing up, my brother had played almost all of the uh, of the Resident Evils. Um, the thing is, is with my brother is that he played Resident Evil 1 and then skipped over Resident Evil 2 and went straight to Resident Evil 3. Um, I don't know how that happened. It just did. <laughs> so, unfortunately, for, like, and this is just from my personal memory. He could have been, he could have been over at a friend's house in my youth and had actually gotten to play Resident Evil 2. But from what I remember, from what we personally owned, is that tree floating? It was for like a second. Now it's not anymore. <laughs> Draw distance. Anyways, but yeah, my brother, like from my knowledge from my childhood, I never seen any gameplay of Resident Evil 2 in my youth. So I never got to watch my brother play that game. So um, not until like I got older and I decided to go to YouTube and literally watch every single Resident Evil back to back because that's just who I was. Let's see, Sugar Combi said, I'm from Belgium, and weirdly, Nickelodeon was a free channel. I th think it was also a free channel in the 90s? I can't remember if not, it w or like, I should say early 2000s. If not, it was a cable channel. I really can't remember. Let's see, Prozzy said, DMC5 for the win. But seriously though, god dang, Capcom has no chill. Resident Evil 2 Remake, DMC5, Monster Hunter World, Iceborne, all in the same year. Which... Funny enough, I think I mentioned this to you before, Prost. If not, then this is probably your first time hearing it. But for those of you guys who are playing Monster Hunter World and you're really looking forward to Iceborne, and you're a huge fan of the Witcher series, Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher 3 in particular is going to be in the new Iceborne DLC, which is going to be freaking awesome. How they're going to incorporate this, which it turns out he he appeared through a portal. I hate portals. <laughs> Now you're thinking with portals. I don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! We so yeah, you don't get a choice. I do apologize. Very well. As you say, I'm sorry. It is begun. I'm sorry. I Very just. I, no I feel like an ass. Uh, okay, guys, attack! What? Why won't, why won't she attack? There we go. Like, what the hell? It is begun. Yeah. I shall do it. Begin the onslaught. There we go. That was just a little weird. Um. Okay. But yeah, unfortunately, in this section, you don't get a choice. Let's see here. Uh, Sugar Combo, you said I never killed him. I just walk around. Yeah, normally I would too. I don't know why I've attacked him in this time. Oops. I think it was because I thought I could make it up there. But I didn't. Damn. Anyways, <laughs> sadly it's done. Ugh, I'm sorry. Let's see, Sugar Combo, you said, I mean, Nintendo has been at work too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have. I mean, the most ambitious project... Well, I don't know if ambitious is really the word I want to use. But definitely the most... Um... The best project that they're working on right now, I mean, it's already released, but it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, is the new su um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl game. Like, seriously? Or Brawl, excuse me. I, well, every time I say it, I, I know I say it wrong. Um, but yeah, like, the, like this... It just came out recently, I know. But they do, there's, there's so many characters. The roster is so mother flipping huge. And they're adding more. They're adding... Joker, for God's sakes. Like, seriously, they're adding so many characters. I can only imagine how many more characters they're gonna add. Like, seriously, they're, they're being super sly about it and just secretively adding more characters that have never been on a Nintendo console before. Like, Persona, um, I actually found this out, but apparently none of the Persona games have ever been on a Nintendo platform. So this is interesting. Let's see, Prozzy said, um, The Witcher 3 collaboration will be released first and then Iceborne later. Oh, okay, so they're not releasing it together. Okay, that makes sense. And Sugar, uh, Prozzy, you said to Sugar Combo, oh my god, yes, Joker and Smash is crazy. Yes. And Sugar, you said Smash Ultimate. That's what it's called. Sorry. <laughs> I just, the names escaped me. I apologize. 
Oh, see, Prozzy said, I'm excited for the new Animal Crossing game, too. Oh, my God, yeah, that's going to be good. I remember playing Animal Crossing on a GameCube that was my friend's. Get back, Sandal. Don't let him touch you. Eh, no. No. I shall. Okay, attack all three of you. Har, 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 har. All right, yeah, this should definitely work. Oh, shit, I just realized I was dead. Oh, my God, it was too late. It was too late. Off I go. It was too late by the time I realized that I had died. It was too late. <laughs> oh my. Okay, that's not cool. I'm gonna head, head. Oh wait, no, he's taking care of the archer. Oh no, he's the only one left. Yay, let's do it. And he's dead. Yay. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, Sandal. Oh, you're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Hello. The road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Let me read the chat real quick before I do. Let's see, Prossy said, uh, that game is insane. I only have unlocked, like, ten other characters. I have about fifty more characters to go. Jeez, that's a lot of characters. But yeah, I was serious, though. Like, seriously, the, the ultimate, the Smash Ultimate roster is freaking huge so huge it's not even funny no more uh let's see here uh oh uh zebo you said i'm playing smash right now like uh only like 20 more characters to unlock dang <laughs> i see prasa you said uh cat sorry but there is persona q and persona q2 on the oh okay see i didn't know sadly uh in like in my life i've never actually played any of the persona games sadly and i just only heard this i did not know I do apologize. Like I said, I could, like, I knew, I had a feeling I was probably going to be wrong, but this is just from what I had heard. Thank you for correcting me, Prosta. I greatly appreciate it. So, yeah, apparently there was, uh, you said Persona Q and Q2. Those were the ones that were, um, <laughs> King's business, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, okay, so I didn't realize that those had came out on the 3DS, which is a Nintendo platform. It's a handheld, obviously. You guys knew that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says a half of it. Thank you for the offer, but there may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Yeah, you gonna follow me though later. I know you, Bowden. You always follow. All right, so there's a small statue we can definitely give that to uh liliana later a blood mage a sealed letter let's take it Ooh, let's look at it oh i can't look at it now <laughs> i mean i could there it is in fact i won't go back let them hunt and dread finding me uh but you medalist should not live this life it would please me if you found a life in the circle tower i left a few things there mostly stolen from the enchanters sell them to fund a new path the cash is in the study area, middle alcove. Goodbye, Belgrus. Okay. Well, there's a lot of things we are going to need to remember. Mm -hmm. Let me actually take the time to. Yeah, here we go. So hold on. Um. Deliver the letters of conscription to. Okay, so yeah, and the funny thing is, this one's gonna take forever too because there's a character in the alienage that we cannot reach until nearly the end of the game. Um, let's see here. Find the deserters and deal with them. Lake Callan had during a room in the Frostback Mountains. Okay. These are easy to do, too. This one will be done. This one will be done easily. Okay. Let me see here. Um. Prosty said, yeah, but mainly Persona series is on PlayStation. Yeah, that's right. Let's see, Sugar Combo, you said, aren't statuettes for Alistair? Let me actually see what kind of statuette this was. Um, okay. Now, I think this one in particular, yes, is definitely a gift for Alistair. Um, I think there's another, like, statuette down the line that's an Androstate statuette or something like that that we can give to Liliana. Now, this... Okay, so, Ogren, I believe that's Alistair. I usually give this to Morrigan because she likes jewelry. Um... Liliana, Ogren, Wynn, Ogren, 
uh, dog. <laughs> Although, sadly, I have never seen dog actually chew on him. It makes me sad. I usually give that to Morrigan. Morrigan. Um, Morgan, but these would probably give me like five and then diminishing returns. Nobody. <laughs> Honestly, this just gives you plus five to whoever it is you're giving it to. Um, oh, wait, dog, you're in our party now, but first I need to take an injury kit. <laughs> we have much to do. Right, no. Enough time to do it. Oh, he's so cute. You know what you forgot to find me, boy? First, let me pet you. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him rolling on his back happily. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Prosty said, Maleficarum regrets? Yeah. And let's see. It said, fun fact, sandals, uh, sandal means slippers in my language. Oh, that's actually cool. Because <laughs> that's, okay, that's just really interesting. And in, That's actually really interesting in general, man. I didn't know that. That's cool. Okay, boy, okay. There's a pair of uh, there's a pair of pantaloons. You didn't find me. Go find me them pantaloon, please. What? No, 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 no. We are not leaving this area until you find them pantaloon, boy. I know they're useless. They just give you plus five to whoever it is you give it to. The la the first time I ever got the pantaloons, like for, for my first playthrough, I gave them to Alistair, and he's like, "Is that for me?" I'm like, "Uh, yeah." He's like, "Wow." I mean, "Wow," and I was like. I've never seen him. I've never heard a man so excited for a dirty pair of pantaloons. <laughs> Please find the pantaloons. <gasps> oh wait, this is interesting. Uh, okay, seems dark. Found a spawn. Found a piece of wood. Oh, this is like a, a staff. I think carved with curious symbols. Dirt still clings to it, and it looks very old. I think this is a staff. You don't really know what it is, but it looks like it could be used as some sort of weapon. Yeah, I think this is a staff. All right. Oh, look at him. He's so attentive. Just like Luna, who's sleeping lazily on the couch. <laughs> All right, yeah. Please. No, he didn't find the pantaloons. We're not leaving until we find the pantaloons. <laughs> I won't be long, I promise. I promise I won't be long until we find these damn pantaloons. I needs them. I needs them badly. <laughs> I know they're a dirty pair of pantaloons, but we needs, to, we needs them. Okay, bark spawn. Bark spawn. Let me see if you can find pantaloons. Ah! Okay, we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it three more times in town, and then we'll see if um, he finds the pantaloons. So next part will be right here. Hey, boy. Hey, 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 hey. See if you can find the pantaloons. Okay, not here. All right, fine, fine, fine. You got two more chances, boy. Don't let me down. Okay, we got two more chances to find these pantaloons, damn it. <laughs> I promise they're not important. They really are not. Okay, boy. And no, he didn't find anything. That's okay. One more chance. We're giving this poor, poor dog one more chance to find these pantaloons. Let's see here. Prosty said, what's a pantaloon? A uh, pantaloon, uh, no E at the end, by the way, but you did, you did spell it correctly. And no, don't worry, guys. I'm not, no grammar Nazi. I just, I just was like, oh wait, hey, there's just an extra letter that didn't need to be there. Oh my god, Mark Spawn. Anyways, the point is, pantaloons are basically, well, I think in this world, they're basically a pair of, like, underpants, so to speak. So, um, like bloomers. Uh, in, like, in this era. It, it's definitely bloomers. Wait. Need something? Oh! I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. Wow. You have some against elves? I don't know you. Why shouldn't I have something against you? We've got enough strangers overrunning us. Nothing but trouble. Ooh. Ooh, I could. I could. No, I have questions. Don't promise I'm going to answer them. All right, what's going on? What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running see, from the Prost, dark spawn. you said, spawn. uh, that's what Not pants that is uh, here for with sure, the army I believe. Gone. Yeah, like nowadays uh, pantaloons is just another word for pants. Um, but back in the day, like, they were just, like, little underwear, under, like, bloomers, your undergarments, so. Because, I mean, when you look at the, like, when you look at the pantaloons in, uh, the dirty pair of pantaloons in this game, when you look at the icon for it, it looks like a pair of lady bloomers, you know? Uh, like, like, kind of like sleepwear, if that makes sense. Like, like, 
I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, let's just... Uh, who's in charge? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. Okay. So you don't have a ruling lord, which are, we already knew this. He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. Mm-hmm. So the bandits? Were? You mean they're gone? Yeah. I'll take this as a thank you. Yes, I drove them off. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's will be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. This dude is a dick. Don't let me stop you. Yep. He's a dick. Why did we talk to him? You guys have any dialogue? Bandits are back nope. again. Why don't the Templars kill them? Okay, well, anyways, I think that's everybody. So I might take the chance to talk to each character individually by themselves in the party. We'll see. <laughs> process. Okay, first of all, process. Oh, I see. But the pantaloons and then Zibba, you said elf racist detective. Kill him. <laughs> or detected. Elf racist detected. Kill him. <laughs> Sadly, I can't. Not anymore. Um. Let's see here. Prozzy said, pants is short for pantaloon? You learn something every day. Well, I mean, back in the day, um, well, I mean, well, I don't know. Nobody really uses the word pantaloons anymore. <laughs> I think it was more during, like, the medieval era and stuff. It could have been, like, it, I think in other parts of the world it could mean something different entirely. Um, yeah, exactly what Blue said here. That was from the 1800s. No one says that anymore. Exactly. Uh, let's see here. Sugar Combo, you said, what a jerk. Slap him. <laughs> Prosta, kill him. <laughs> kill the evil. No, I can't. He's not evil. He's just a jerk. <laughs> Alright, so I believe I've done everything. Yes, I did. I had done all the quests. Um, I talked to all the characters. I've done everything. We're, we're good. We're O-A-O-K-O-K. So, I think, like I said, I might take this, the, the time now to go ahead and talk Lost to... Damnation. Actually, let's just do it like this. Let's take everyone out and put yes. Alistair back in. We'll start with Alistair. Right, buddy? We'll start We'll start with you. You, I, I mean, look. I... Okay. <laughs> um, I think... I, like, I know all of his dialogue already because, like I said, I've romanced him twice. We are going to be super nice to him, but we're going to try our best not to romance him in this playthrough. But I want to make sure that we get as much dialogue out of him. Because like I said, if you if it's only the two of you in the party, he does actually have a little bit more dialogue that opens up. So, we're going we're gonna to try to talk to what him. What do you need? Yes. Ask away. I want to talk to you about some things. Now, I'm not sure where to start. So, oh boy. Hold on just a second here. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let me see what the chat has been saying. I'm at 60%. I'm good. I see processes that I see. Back when pirates are a thing, I bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Around that time. I think. Yes. Alright. Uh, and I can't... Rem I mean, we could probably just do this in order. So we'll probably do that. So we'll start with the... Uh, what can a Templar do exactly? In fact, I think that this is where you learn the Templar. Uh, specialization. Essentially, they're trained to fight. Of course. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. 
The other main Ooh. purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Uh, so others... Uh, couldn't others learn the, these talents? Perhaps. But there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. Yeah, it's true. We are given Lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrium trade with the Dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Wow. So that's horrible. I can't believe they would do actually do that. Well, they do it, and they feel perfectly justified. You don't need Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective, or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away, either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky Ooh, me. Lucky you. Hey, Alistair, plus one. Yay. What do you need? Ask away. All right, so let's, um, yeah, can you teach others to be Templar? I suppose I could, but I really would rather not. When the Grand Cleric let Duncan recruit me, she made me swear never to reveal Templar secrets outside of the Chantry. <laughs> I'd rather not go back on my word. All right. Um, very well, I'll respect your word. Ask me later, perhaps. Maybe I'll change my mind. This is not something small you're asking, after all. That's true, yeah. So, okay, when it comes what to this, if, you're, if your approval Ask with him away. is high enough, he'll definitely help you with this. If I ask him again, he will have dis uh, disapproval. So let's actually talk about the Grey Warrens a little bit. Such as they are. Oh my god, we have so much dialogue to go through. <laughs> actually, let's, let's... About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. What do you need? Ask away. Let's actually actually talk about how you became a Grey Warden. Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, I can't remember which one it was. I do, I, like, I do remember, but I'm, like, having slight memory problems because I'm on stream and I'm, like, under pressure. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, it was one of these two. It was not this one, especially. It's not four. Four is like being like negative points. Let's not do that. It's one of these. Um, okay. Um, okay, let's just go with haha. Very. Actually, I mean before that. Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. <laughs> Okay, first of all, let's see. Prosty, you said, um, Cat, I'm gonna lurk for a bit again. Smoke bomb, exit. That's totally fine, Prosty. Thank you. Let's see. It, no, man, you said, <laughs> pressuring you. you it's, it's slightly pressuring because I'm on stream and I want to make sure I don't screw this up. Um, okay, so yeah, you, uh, you mentioned that before. It's really for the best. I'm not exactly the Chantry type, if you haven't noticed. I don't think I would have made a very good Templar. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, so why do you think the Grand Cleric wanted to keep you? I wondered that myself. It's not as if she valued me highly. I think she just didn't want to give anything to the Grey Wardens, is all. I think the so, Chantry too. didn't lose much. And I think I can do more fighting the Blight anyhow, rather than sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. Oh. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. Oh. Oh. Eh. 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 I'm sorry. No. It's... Uh... No, don't cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be... It's fine. He died a hero. Don't cry, Alistair. They all did. Me sad. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Oh. No! Software update! Remind me later, damn it! <laughs> oh, now the chat's gonna have to reload. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> what do you need? I'm sorry, Alistair. Let's talk Ask about away. something else. So, uh, you, you said Arl Eamon raised you, huh? Did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfels. A whole pack of them, in fact. 
Ah. Uh, really? No, oh my god. I can't I can't remember which one of these two it was. It was one of these two. Um <laughs> Really? That must have been tough for them. Well, they were flying dogs, you see. <laughs> Surprisingly strict parents too, and devout Andrastians to boot. <laughs> oh, oh no! I've never seen this option before. Oh my god! As far as I remember, I've never seen this option before. Oh my heavens! Um. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna press it. I've never seen that before in my life, as far as I remember. And I've played this game three times. I don't think I've ever seen- I mean, I might have, and I just don't remember it. I might have gone brain dead and never- and don't remember this line at all, but as far as I know, it's the first time I'm seeing it. Oh my god. <laughs> it no matters. I'm reading the prequel book, Stolen Throne. Pretty good. Oh yeah, I, I really need to read the books. I want to read them all. There's actually one. Uh, it's a comic book, actually. Um, that's about Varric and Isabella. Um, and I really want to read it because of Varric. That's why, because Varric's, Varric's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, it, no man. <laughs> I bet your mother's a bee. What? <laughs> Let's see, Sugar Comedy said, I've never seen it either. I wonder if it, like, it says cunning. So, I don't, I don't remember what my level, like, my, what my cunning level is. I think it's, like, almost at 30. Or maybe it's 25. I don't know. That might be... I now, I really wish I could like leave the chat for a second and go to the wikia page and make sure that that's not a bad line to say because I don't know how many positive and or negative or like no points it would give me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Okay. I I'm just gonna say uh huh. Raised by flying dog, uh, devoted dogs. I see. <laughs> or did I dream all of that? Yeah. Funny the dreams you'll have when you sleep on we'll the cold safe. hard ground, isn't it? We'll just be super safe about that. <laughs> Are you having strange dreams? Um, oh my god. Um, oh, oh my, yeah, see? Now this one doesn't, I don't think, okay, so this line doesn't become available, um, unless you guys are alone. Like, there's no other person in the party, I believe. So, because it's me and Alistair, <laughs> oh, oh my, I could, I could, um, but I think this might start that path, and I don't want- I don't want to lead- I don't want to lead him on, this poor boy. I am so- I am so- and so- I am- I'm pressured. I am so under pressure right now. <laughs> because I want to click it. But I know if I click it that I'm gonna start an- uh, I'm gonna start down that romance path with him, and I'm gonna be so shattered when he comes to me at camp and says, I thought you loved me when I start romancing Zevran. <laughs> Why is it so hard? <laughs> Why do you romance that Kether? Because it was real. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard. Alistair, baby, I'm sorry. I really want to click this, but I can't. I can't. I want to, but I have to romance Severin. Severin is the one I need to romance. Not any other character, just Severin. I can't. I can't do this to Alistair. But it gives him approval points, I think. I should have done my homework. Bross is like, don't, cat, don't. I, can't. I won't, but I, I just want to because I want the approval points. I can't. Thank God that these characters are so patient with me. <laughs> when you're sitting here struggling between click, don't click, and you're like, oh, I need, to, I need to wipe my forehead from all the sweat that I feel <laughs> accumulating. Because the decision is so hard. <laughs> and no man's like, look at that face. He wants the... He, he does. <laughs> I need to go get my Alistair plush. I'm sorry. I can't. I need... 
I need my Alistair plush. I can't do this anymore. I need him. There he is. Come here. Come here, my little Allie bear. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so damn hard. Oh. Oh my god, it's so hard. It's so hard. I just, I have to cuddle with my little alley bear toy, uh, plush now. It's like a pillow plush. I'm sorry. I just, I, <laughs> I'm trying. I really am. I see Proz is like, cat, don't. You've roamed Miss Alistair for like a hundred times. <laughs> I mean, I might as well have <laughs> technically twice, but yes. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Yes. Oh dear, indeed. <sighs> Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck it! I need the approval points! I, uh... Oh, I, I think I completely lost my chain of thought. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's see. How do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. I'm sorry, I My had mother to. was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle. I need the approval points, damn it. Very young. Al Eamon wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow. <laughs> He put a roof over my head. It was good to me. And he didn't Hopefully he saw that as a joke and nothing more. <laughs> I respect the man and I don't blame him anymore Ooh. for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. Okay. Wow. Um, so... Okay, um, uh... But uh, you blamed him then, I take it. I was young and resentful Ooh, and not very pious. Of course I blamed him. I remember screaming at him like a little child. Well, I was a child, so I doubt it was surprise. Ah Lehman eventually married a young woman from Orlay, which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, then you, Arlesa, resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So I'm off, I was sorry, Prosta. I needed the approval 10. points. Just as well. The Don't Arlesa worry. Made sure the I love Alistair, but I'm to not going to lead him on she because I love him too much. Me. I mean, that's an awful thing to do to a child. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. <laughs> I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself. Sorry, I Prost. <laughs> I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. Aww. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. Aww. I mean, you were young. And raised by dogs. <laughs> or I may as well have been, the way I acted. <laughs> yeah, but maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Arl is a good man Aww. and well-loved by the people. He also was King Kalen's uncle. So he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. Anyway, that's really all there is to the story. Yes, plus five approval. <laughs> I needed the approval, damn it. Braza, this is how you broke a man's heart. <sighs> I love Alistair, but I promise I am not going to lead this poor boy on. I'm making a new save. <laughs> we did it. It's done. It's been done. <laughs> All right. What do you need? Let's Off continue doing this real quick. So, uh, if, why have you remained at Templar if you hate the Chantry? Have you seen the uniform? It's not <laughs> only stylish, but well made. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. <laughs> um, oh, uh, oh, I don't think I've ever seen you wearing it. I keep it hidden under my pillow. Sometimes I'll take it out just so I can hug it fondly and remember the good <laughs> old days. Brings a tear to the eyes, you know. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay. Um. Okay. Do all Templars make these jokes or just... Okay, now I don't remember which one of these it was. Um. I think it was this one. Oh, you know, between all the guilt and the hours spent in solemn prayer, any good Templar or priest is just <laughs> bursting to tell a few good jokes when the opportunity arises. You don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. I do, though. Hmm, okay. You know what? Then make up something more exciting. You know, I like the way you think. But I guess if you're really curious, there's no harm in obliging. I have a couple of interesting-looking moles I can show you later, too, if you're interested. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that I did hate going Yes, to I'd like to see those interesting-looking moles. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called oh me a God. bastard and ignored me. I I'm such like an awful person. <laughs> cast me off unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. But I took some solace in the training itself. Aww. I was actually quite good at it. Ooh. I mean, I think I understand. Using the abilities I have came after years of education and discipline that was difficult to achieve, if rewarding. The sword training and religious doctrine all came later. I never really felt at home anywhere, though, until I joined the Grey Wardens. Ooh. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful no when in we that encountered yet. We do on stream. magic. <laughs> I have not so finished Red Dead Redemption 2. What about you? So that's going to take a while. you consider home? Hmm. Oh! Shh. Okay. I could, I could, I could. I could right now. I could. I could. It's right there. It's... No. Alienage. You must miss them a great deal. Oh, God, Duncan and the Grey Wardens oh. are the closest I ever got to that kind of family. <laughs> we won't always be traveling <laughs> like this, sorry. you know. Once the war is over, once the blight is... <laughs> well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Uh. Though that seems like a far ways off. <laughs> and I suppose the Grey Wardens are gone for good. Either way... <laughs> My heart is shattering <laughs> so hard because I wanted to click number three so bad. <laughs> Alistair, baby, I'm sorry. I can't romance you in this playthrough. If I was a man, this would be easier. But I am not playing a male character. I am playing a female character, so it's hard. It's just he's so easy to fall into. Make her save me. <laughs> okay, you know, I mean, we, uh, we we can we can rebuild. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> God, I'm such an idiot. Let me see. But no, Prasta, I have not finished Red Dead Redemption Two because I want to finish it on stream. But sadly, I'm taking a break from it because I want to play this. <laughs> I don't know when Dragon Age 4 is coming out. I better be quick and play this game and get done. Let's see, Prasty says, I swear to God, there's a similar character to Alistair in Star Wars Korda, uh, KOTOR 2. And here we go again. No, see, look, I did I did good this time, Prasty. I just went straight past it and I said, I'm going to click the alienage one. Even though it was super hard. You could hear, like, I don't know if you guys can hear the shattering of my heart right now. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I suppose you're right. We can create new Grey Wardens. <laughs> Alistair, I'm sorry. But we'll never get back those we lost. I have to get the achievement. I wonder if it would ever feel the same. <laughs> Anyhow, now I've sidetracked us. We'd better get back to what we're supposed to be doing right now. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so mad at what myself do you need? right now. <laughs> Ask away. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Such Let's as talk about the Grey Wardens. Jesus Christ. Let's do this. I, I, I did tell you guys that this episode's gonna probably be nothing but us nagging to characters. So there's that. Let's see. Um, Sugar Combo, you said you should have gone with a male elf. <laughs> I probably should have, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. Wow. God help me. 
That's a good question. There's plenty in Orlay, but who knows where they might be I need found. a hug by Alistair Pillow Orlesian now. The city just... is weeks away. I just need to hug if him for a minute. If we go north <laughs> and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Again, however, this I just poor pillow has been away. sitting on the shelf I don't know anything about since Great April of this year, land. just waiting for me to hug it. I uh, now have the opportunity to actually claim that this pillow has a use. <laughs> Oh, it's just why it's actually soft too. Like the back, like okay, the front ends actually like uh, it's got out like a little chibi Alistair on the front, and then on the back it's like a super soft felt stuff to pill. It's, it's it's super soft. It's 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 very soft. Anyways, <laughs> here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the mm -hmm. palace, but that's it. Logain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Oh, Beyond yeah, sure, sure. that, the only place I know of is Weishaupt Fortress. That's the headquarters mm. of all Grey Wardens in the Anderfels. A thousand. If I remember correctly, that's where we no go in Inquisition. Contact I think. So unless it's been, we try it's been to some get time. back to the compound in Denerim, yeah, you go I there with Hawk. The answer is no. There's nowhere for us to go. So what happens now that there's just the two of us? I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens outside of Ferelden will wonder what's happened. Why there's no contact from Duncan or someone. They'll send someone eventually. Though who knows what Loghain's people in Denerim will tell them. Maybe they won't send anyone. We could try to contact them. But that would mean leaving Ferelden. And even if we did, they couldn't come back with us in time to stop the blight. Who did? So that means whatever happens, it's up to us. That's true. It is up to us, and we will save. We will save Ferelden. We've got a country to save. I mean, eventually we would have to use the joining to make more Grey Wardens, right? But I don't know how to do the joining, or what's involved. I know it involves lyrium and some other magic, and that it's really difficult to prepare. But that's it. Unless we can find out more about the joining, I guess we better get used to the idea that there might only be two of us for now, until more come from elsewhere. Okay. So what happens if we just left? Just left? You mean just left Ferelden? I don't know. If there's an archdemon, however, we're supposed to be the only ones who can defeat it. And that means the blight would grow unchecked. Eventually, other Grey Wardens in Orlais and other lands would hear about it and they would come to fight it, but they wouldn't come in time to save Ferelden. There's no way. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry, I am not either. But about I have no the more Grey questions. Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? I think that's everything, Ask away. right? Um, yeah, I've already, he's already told me everything about the Grey Wardens, so there's nothing else. Let's go ahead and just say never mind. And we got two more approval. Oh boy. Whew. Look at that approval. It's it's about to hit the ha like the the first the first tick. We're almost there. I see Prozzi said Hawk. That's a cool name. It is a cool name. I've always loved Hawk. Like, I loved that name in general. It's just, I don't know what it was about it. It just sounds nice. Now, I've, I think that this is Alistair's gift. We will actually save the game, to be sure. I want to go ahead and just keep getting those approval ratings up. And, yeah, we'll save over this one. Because I realize I'm making a lot of new saves. New save after new save after new save. So it is probably best we go ahead and do that. Let's go pick him, and let's make sure... I could get used to this, you know. <laughs> yeah, of course you could. <clears throat> Anyways, but still, yeah, that was Alistair's gift. All right. Hey, yeah. Minor constitution. Good. He's got a new skill. Very important that he learned this. Oh, blast it. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with more again. Yes. Oh, heavenly. Whoa, what the? Okay, you guys did not see that. Hopefully I do not get banned on Twitch for that little uh, character load in because that was, um, um, I'm pretty sure Prosto would have enjoyed that. <laughs> oh my. Anyways, um, Morgan. What do you wish of me? We, we need to talk, girl. Hope you don't mind. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Okay. So how'd you become a shapeshifter? Hmm? I was not born Okay, such. shape changer. But... It is a skill of Flemeth's. Taught over many years in the wilds. Mm. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures mm. to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, 
That is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That does sound like something you would do. Oh? I truly doubt that children would be worth the effort. They are filthy, smelly things full of tears and snot and trouble. That said, I cannot speak for the tastes of my mother. She has, after all, lived a very lengthy time in the wilds and done many things I know nothing of. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? I will say this. Like, talking to Morrigan now and knowing how she is in Inquisition, it's actually... Is the word baffling? Uh, is that the word I want to use? Is baffling the word I want to use? I mean, to be honest, if you think about it, in this one, as you heard, she's all like, children are just full of tears and snot and ugh, don't like kids. But if you do what you do at the end of the game, and you see her again in Inquisition, it's like... She's a totally different person. It's actually amazing. I don't know how to explain it. Alright, well anyways, um, can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn okay. to move as it does, think okay. as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. I see Prosty said, yeah, I know, it's kind of odd. I mean, I don't think of it as odd, but it definitely is interesting. So can you become a shape changer? Or anyone? Anyone with sufficient will. Mm -hmm. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Mm -hmm. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Because I'm a little itty bitty rogue baby. There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my mm. life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. Mm. So what other animals do you think you um, do you think of when you change? They do not shy away from me. Or what do the animal, other senses, animals think I of her? I uh, like think any the other of their species. <laughs> as to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. Yeah, I've never heard of magic like that before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Mm -hmm. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. Yeah. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Ooh. All right, so by... <clears throat> well, I could say that, but I think... Hmm. That's good. Traditions need to be preserved. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Hmm. I think your abilities sound quite useful. A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed, lest the dust gather on us. <laughs> a plus seven approval. Because there's seven viewers in the chat. <laughs> Lucky sevens. Okay, anyways. Um, Prosody said, the, head, uh, the cannon hawk is a mage, right? He's an apostate too? Yeah. So, uh, the cannon for, um, I think, Dragon Age 2, yes. Hawk is portrayed as a mage. Um... So, that means Bethany is, is uh, not in the uh, party, which breaks my heart because she's, she's a ray of sunshine. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, uh, she... What do you wish of Or, me? yeah, Hawk, Hawk, uh, Brohawk is, canonically, he's a mage. So, let me actually ask you something personal. As you wish. We are alone here now, no? 
Oh my god. I think if, I think if you do this once, she'll actually laugh at you. I, I think. I remember seeing this option and I was like, oh my god, I don't want to say that. I'm just going to ask her... Oh my god. I think she laughs at you when you say this. You know, I'm going to say never mind. I'm going to save my game because I want to be safe. I want to rather be safe than sorry. I don't want to be... I don't want to be evil to her. Do it like this. Okay. 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 What do you wish of me? Okay. As you wish. We are alone here now, no? We are. You are a heartless shrew, you know that? Please don't be angry at me. And you are a fool. Damn it! Is there a reason for this sudden insult? Do you wish me to leave? No. no. I meant it as a compliment. Ah. Too kind of you, then. Damn it! No! <laughs> Let's actually... <laughs> That's load. Thank God. Whew. Okay, I was right. I knew that it was the worst thing to do. Thank God I saved before we actually said it. Whew. Whew. Although Alistair would have loved it. Let's see here. Prost, you're like, oh no, it's crazy talk. It's actually funny uh, because if you were a male mage and you have very high approval with Morgan and you're romancing her and you say that, she's all like, Aw, thank you, babe. I'm just like, oh my god. At least I think so. It's been so long. Uh, let's see, Prosty said, hmm, I always thought of Hawk as a male warrior, though. Well, hey, that actually reminds me, Prosta, uh, for you guys, so you don't have to worry about deciding what character I'm going to play in Dragon Age 2. I'm, I already told y'all, I'm playing Galen Hawk. Galen Hawk is my warrior uh, Hawk, and because I had never got to finish the game on Nightmare Mode with him back on the 360 console. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate him, which might take some time, actually. Um, I'm going to recreate him, and then we're we're going to be playing as a warrior. We're going to be playing as a warrior, so that way, in our canonical storyline, we're going to have a warrior hawk. So, there you go, Prosta. You don't have to worry about that now. What do you wish of me? As you wish. All right. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Now, I think... Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Think. So, do you want to leave? If I wanted to leave, then I would go. I remain, so do not ask such pointless okay, questions. Okay, so I think this also gives her disapproval as well. Yo, my god, negative ten. Fuck me, run. Okay, thank god I saved my game. It's been a long time. Normally, I would actually take a peek at the, um... Trying to think at the wiki, wi the wikia, just to make sure I'm doing the right approval choices, because I want everyone to be happy. So there you go. All right, so I am going to actually switch out party members and get Liliana in the party now. So, Lost and damnation. which is very important. Yes, 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 yes. Liliana, you're the last one. Ugh, let's get this done. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you know of this place? I, I, I forgot she's got this. Lothering? I think it started as a settlement by the river, Yee. and then grew when it became the place where two roads met. There are always people in Lothering, but many are just passing through. I apologize, I'm taking a drink into my can. <coughs> I made that weird sound. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Uh, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Okay, so... This vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Hmm. Seems like you might have been dreaming of the blight? I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was. A single beautiful rose. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, Even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. See? 
Liliana. Why did you make me think of Alistair's romance, damn it? Because that is the one thing he he gives you when you romance Alistair. <laughs> Alistair, I miss you already. Why did I why why do I not have the achievements for Liliana and Zevran? <laughs> why was Alistair my very first romance in this game? <sighs> okay. Hey Gluji, roly poly potato bug or pill bug? I, um, mm. Actually, Gluji, I really can't answer that because I'm not much of a person who likes bugs. Except Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is a cute bug. <laughs> um. Okay. Let me see. Um. I, okay, now I'm trying to remember which was a good option, but one that hopefully will not lead me down the romance path um and this made you want to help me in my dream i fell oh or maybe i jumped i'd do anything to stop the blight i know that we can do it there are so many good things in the maker's world how can i sit by while the blight devours everything you know that's another thing she's actually in all three all three games if you really think about it liliana is in all the games Ugh. Anyway, I, I suppose I couldn't sit by either. That is why you're a Grey Warden. Come, there's a blight to stop. It's a blight to stop indeed. Yes. Alright, let's actually talk some more. Well, here I am. Uh, so what is it like in the Chantry Cloister? Quiet. Wait, the cloister. It was a life suited for contemplation. It. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of oh, the Oh, me cities, too, Prosser. Her I accent found peace. Is very beautiful. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Aww. gentry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, I can't remember which one. Um, yeah, yes, they tend to be self-righteous. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all. The sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Hmm. I mean, I prefer your ideas to the maker. I mean, to the chantry. Wow, I can't read. <laughs> I prefer your ideas to the maker. Anyways. Um, but yeah, no, I, I prefer your ideas to the chantries. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the maker's place to decide if I am worthy, Aww, poor not Gucci. men. Oh, Not boy, I cannot stay. But there is Farewell, to be done. young one. And I have okay, good you. Well, thank you for stopping by, at least. I appreciate it. Yes. Sweet. Another two... Well, approval points. I am. Uh, so why would someone like you be doing in Lothering? What is meant by someone like me? Mm. <laughs> okay, now that is a romance option. Not doing it. Um, They don't teach you how to fight... In the cloister, do they? Actually, no. You don't seem to belong in the cloister. Actually, no, yeah, let's just do this one. Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Okay. Uh, so, were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does why not thrive, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling I hope that was not a bad option. LA. <laughs> Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Okay, so I didn't earn nothing from that one. From what it looks like. Yeah, I didn't earn anything. Yes. But I, I know well, what you are, Liliana. I am. You were a traveling minstrel. Do you have tales to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Oh boy. Yeah, tell me. Let's let's go through these stories, I suppose. Which it's one? not gonna hurt. Hmm. Do you know anything about the Dalish? I have heard a little about how the elves gained their oh. freedom from the Tevinter Imperium. When just, it's story time with Liana. March against the Imperium, 
the elves joined her cause to fight their masters. The great elven leader, Shatan, born in captivity, rose up to lead his people. He foresaw a future where the elves were free. Shatan was well, killed I did tell when you guys were be was betrayed, all day. but the elves continued to fight, eventually breaking free of the Imperium. Mm -hmm. The elves claimed the dales in the south and settled there in the land of their own. Hmm. It didn't last, though, did it? The elves lived in the dales for centuries. They resurrected the worship of the elven gods and would allow the building of no chantry. This angered the chantry and the hostility between the two factions finally broke out in open war. The Chantry says the Elves struck first, but I do not know whether to believe it. The Chantry declared a wholly exalted march against the Elves, named for Andraste's similar march against the Winter. During the exalted march of the Dales, the Elven cities were sacked and the Elven state completely dissolved. Some of the Elves bitterly accepted their fates and surrendered to human rule living in the human cities as second-class citizens. But others, still fiercely proud of their heritage, refused to bow to the humans, and instead became homeless wanderers. There were the elves of the Dales, the Dalish. Let me tell you. Chantry can, like, Chantry sucks. All they care about is, like, hey, if you don't follow the maker, we're gonna kick your ass. Pretty much. Hate it. Alright, anyways. Andraste was the Maker's chosen. The Maker had long since abandoned the world when the sound of her singing turned his ear. Beauty, grace, and wisdom enraptured him, and he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his divine bride. But Andraste had an earthly husband and would not forsake him. Instead, she beseeched the Maker to return to his people once more. So earnest was her plea, that the Maker was moved, and promised that he would create a paradise on earth if all abandoned their false gods and turned once more to him. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter Imperium. Mm. The Maker granted her his powers with which to smite her enemies. Andraste brought the Imperium to Aww. its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. Uh, so how how did Andraste die? Alas, it was the frailties of men that betrayed and killed Andraste. Her yep. earthly husband, Maferath, a chieftain of the Alamari tribes himself, grew jealous as his wife's popularity and influence overshadowed his own. She was also revered as the Maker's betrothed, and Maferath began to see their own bond waning in significance as Andraste became ever more devoted to the Maker. Out of envy and spite, Maferath made a pact with the Archon Hesarian of Tevinter, allowing his beloved Andraste to be ambushed and captured. Andraste was burned at the stake in Minrathus, the capital of Tevinter. So why didn't the Maker save her with his power? I have thought on this too. Did he withdraw his sight from her at that moment? Where were all the powers he bestowed upon her? This question has come to me many times, and I have no answer. Perhaps there was no way for Andraste to return to the Maker but through her death. We will never know for sure. Okay. I will ask her the other stories here in a second. Let's see, Prosty said, Chantry is like the Jedi Council. They're like, religion our dark side. You can't be happy or feel love. There's only the Force. <laughs> yes. Sounds about right. It sounds about well, right indeed. Here. Of course I do. I love stories far okay. too much to hmm. keep them to myself. I do know Everyone any for real be able to benefit from them, I think. I know one. Told to me by my mother a long time ago. It always chilled me to the bone. Maybe you have heard of Flemeth? Flemeth? Morgan's mother was called Flemeth. Ah, uh, are you sure? Was she the Flemeth of legend? Flemeth, the devour of men. Flemeth, mother of witches. Flemeth, demon touched, who dwells in the mists. Flemeth, the character that has a lot of damn titles to her name. <laughs> ah. I mean, she really didn't introduce herself as such. 
Ferelden mothers scare their daughters with talk of Flemeth. They say that if you're bad, Flemeth will spirit you away and bind you to her forever. Mm. They also say that Flemeth mourns her lost beauty like and will steal yours or through your Krampus. looking glass Krampus. if she catches you. That's how you say it. Krampus. I apologize. Please, please don't be angry with me. Um, Flemeth was once beautiful? Flemeth's beauty was known throughout the land. She had hair Aww. like unto a moonless night, skin as pale as winter's first snow, and eyes as beautiful and perilous as the sea. When she came of age, she came to the attention of the Lord of Hyever, Conobar, and he took her for his wife. Conobar soon learned that his young bride had the gift of magic. Shh. <laughs> a sugar combo. I'm not going to read that out loud. She would be taken from him. Flemeth stayed with Conobar for some years, and with his blessing, yeah, is another she name practiced for her. <laughs> her art. And then one day, a young poet named Osen came to the castle. Flemeth was captivated by Osen's voice, and he by her beauty, and they fell in love. Ooh, the plot thickens. Flemeth longed to be with her true love, and she and Osen fled option. from Conobar's lands, seeking refuge in the Kokari wilds with the chasing tribes. They lived there happily for many a year. Ooh. Till the day Flemeth received news that Conobar was dying and longed to see her face one last time. Flemeth's heart swelled with pity for the man who once was her husband and begged Osen to return to Conobar's side with her. But when Flemeth and Osen entered Hyever, they were captured by Conobar's men and Osen was slain in front of Flemeth's eyes. Flemeth was imprisoned in the highest tower of the castle there to await Conobar's judgment on her. Distraught at the loss of her love, Flemeth plotted revenge against her husband. She summoned a fey demon, intending for it to wreak vengeance on Conobar. But a spell went awry. Mm. The demon possessed Flemeth. Turning her into an abomination, the halls of the castle ran red with blood as Flemeth slaughtered Conobar and all his men. The last of Flemeth's humanity melted away. And at dawn, she stole back to the wilds to plot and scheme for a hundred years. They say she took to her side many chastened men, and with their help, begat her daughter witches, who even now prowl the dark places of the Kokari wilds. Pretty dope. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know any stories from Orle? Of course. Orlesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Ole. By the way, I love what they've done with Aveline. Um, if you see the picture art of her at the end of Trespasser. When I saw her, like, her, for some reason her name kept escaping me until after her picture faded from screen. I was like, hey, it's Aveline! I remembered. But I love what they've done with her design. It's actually really interesting. Like, um... I'm trying to think. Um... Like, how to explain it. It's just, like, she looks so much different. Like, you know what she looks like in Dragon Age 2. But then when you see this picture of her... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I need I need to remember to turn that damn thing off. Do you guys want me to ever turn that off? Or do you guys like, to, like me to keep that on? <laughs> It's just an alarm that lets me know, hey, it's two minutes before nine o'clock. Because that's usually what, when I went back to sleep um, in the morning, I would have that alarm set so I could wake up. But yeah, it's high noon. It's high noon somewhere in the world. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want me to turn that off, because I know like in the last five streams or so of this game and such, well, not five streams, this is like, actually, yeah, this is the fifth stream. Um, I've the alarm kept going off at the time, so if you guys want me to turn it off, I will. Uh, if not, just let me know, and I'll, you know, we'll go from there. Alright, uh, you know, this sounds very interesting. A long time ago, a girl child was born to a farmer. Sure, he call me so you like the alarm? Son, daughter, okay. <laughs> and so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. Before the cold could claim her, the baby Aww. was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Aveline, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. 
She learned to wield a sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at hundred paces, and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. Ooh. Continue, please. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle, and wanted to show the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They Aww. bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor, and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone Ooh. compete in the Grand Tourney. But Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Did she win? Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground, ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part, and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Kaleva was furious, for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. <laughs> Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, and slit her throat. Damn. That's terrible. The son of the king, Prince Freyan, was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. He honored Aveline and knighted her after her death. And to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, finally, one last story, then we can go to camp. Chantry Law Oof. says it is man's pride that created the Darkspawn. In ages past, the mages of the Tevinder Imperium ruled much of the world we know. In their pride, they thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Maker himself. We'll Through talk to thinking, Stin at camp. <laughs> they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own <laughs> so creator. Much dialogue. But they were impure and full of sin. But I and love it is this with game. the sin that they tainted the golden city, corrupting it forever. The Maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Yay, more points with Liliana! It's actually, I think we may have... A gift? Yes, we have a gift! I... that's a wonderful thought. I don't you know what are... to say. Oh, don't say nothing, you It's nothing. <laughs> okay, we don't need that. Now, I think these... Now, okay, we're gonna need Garnet. We're gonna need at least ten Garnet in, um... Uh... Awakening. There's so many. Okay, like I'm trying to make sure I'm gonna get prepared for a lot of things that we're gonna definitely gonna need. So let me actually go over to weapons. Uh, she cannot use this. Why? Because she needs strength of 30, and I forgot to do that with her. Yeah, I had a feeling I'd forgotten. Okay, the next time she levels up, uh, I'll work on getting her strength up to to 30. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot. Well, we're not gonna go back. We're not gonna go back. We're gonna keep it as is. So there you go. Yes. I did not mean to speak with you. I'm sorry, um, Liliana. Let's actually switch. Of all the. I. Do I want? Yes. No. Yeah. We'll just accept him into party. Now, Stin here, big man Stin. He he. He likes paintings. <laughs> and sadly, we have no paintings. I will say, like, it's funny because his taste is very, very simple, but. He likes beautiful paintings. Why are we stopping? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I just um, <laughs> let's just get a few things straight. What? Um. Okay. Um. What? 
right, what is this? Okay, let's just say uh, I want to talk about some things. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Okay. I, I mean, I just want to know if I can trust you at my back. I am Kunari. I have given my word to aid you. We are not people of idle promises. Hello, Grey Jedi. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I've never seen Kunari before. Why don't you tell me about your people? No. I <laughs> hope you enjoy your... <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get so much disapproval rating right now. <laughs> but yes, hello, Grey Jedi. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? <laughs> Sugar combo. No. I love it. Like, I was just... I was expecting a little bit of, of a longer response instead of just no, but as soon as I was saying hello to Jedi, <laughs> he goes, no, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Get used to disappointment. People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. A little hostile, aren't we? Many humans have said that to me. I do not understand it. If I were indeed hostile, you would be bleeding. So is this you being calm and helpful? Couldn't you tell? <laughs> You said you were in the army. I am. Okay. Um, have you ever fought in a war? I have always fought in war, elf. How dare you call me elf? So, um, you must know your way around a battlefield then. Some of them. They aren't all alike. Alright. Why do you keep, uh, well, are you always as bad at answering questions? Generally. I do not <laughs> see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. Alright, so are you alright? You've been in that cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. I'm afraid to even know. As you wish. I did get plus two approval. That's something. That's something better than nothing. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Prosty said, Great Jedi, the best Jedi. Nice. Great job, you said not too bad. How about you? I'm doing pretty good, bro. How how you doing? <laughs> okay, so he actually he only gets one specialization right now. Um So I think I will give him a berserker. And let's go ahead and get his strength up to forty. Give him a lot more health. And we'll give him more on will power yes there we go boom done wow okay so this is his okay well anyways let's go ahead and give him all of these oh i can only do one that's that's fine um let me see i have five skills to use uh let's go ahead and max that tree out so he's our he's our double-handed character or yeah two-handed character let's go ahead and do that done boom <laughs> he was the only character i didn't level up Shows you how sadly I, I sadly I, he's very underutilized in this game. I need to use yeah, I need to use him more. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, yeah, that was super simple. He only gave me plus two approval throughout all that conversation yes. because I think most of it was. Uh, oh my god! So what were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's bad. Um. You're the silent type, I see. Your grasp of the obvious is remarkable. <laughs> you don't like me much, do you? Warden, if I truly disliked you, I would leave. That I am still here, you may interpret however you choose. Okay, so are you going to answer my question? I did. Parshera, was there anything else? I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. Uh, then I suggest we move on. Yeah, never mind. Actually, I have a question. I am hardly surprised. So why'd you come to Ferelden? To answer a question. Mm-hmm. What was the answer? Were you not at Ostagar when the army was overwhelmed? That is your answer. Ah. Why do the Quinari worry, uh, care about the Blight? Why do you? Oh, because I'm a Grey Warden. It's my job. Exactly. You don't ask, nor do I. The Arashok sends me and I go. Okay, did you find an answer? Oh, wait, hold on. Well, 
Yeah, he already did. Technically, he did find an answer to uh, to that question. So, don't you have to report back then? Yes. Okay, then when are you going to do that? Never. I cannot go home. Okay, uh, why not? It doesn't matter now. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. Okay. As you wish. <gasps> plus, plus 11 approval points. Oh my god, yes. We we definitely we definitely boosted him up real good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually going to I think defender would definitely be better. It's better that he is a defender that way he can actually do a lot of heavy damage. Let me see what other um so yeah, no, he doesn't have a lot, just defender. That's fine. Let's make him a defender. That sounds like a good good bet there. <laughs> oh my god. Yay! So much approval. Ooh, Oathkeeper. I forget about this. It's a it's a one-handed weapon, isn't it? Uh yes, yeah, it's, it's a one-handed weapon. Okay. And uh yeah, that wait, the battle axe? Oh, the great sword's better than the battle axe. Shit, take that. <laughs> And this should be, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, yep, there's that piece of wood. I need to see if, uh, Morrigan can use this now. I think she can. There's so much crap in my inventory. <laughs> Oops. I, I'm sorry. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is actually... Wow, the Helm of the Deep is actually a lot better than the Quinari Thickened Cap. Okay, that's fine. We'll go ahead and get rid of all this stuff, though. Um, but yeah, let me actually go ahead and get the mountain. Let's Sashigan. actually get my party the way I want yes. it. Indeed. Blood actually, and damnation. there. This is how I want my party. For now. Because there is another character we're going to get. But I think... Oh, first, let me see what Grey Jedi said. You said to Prasa, there, uh, there's two Grey Jedis. The chaotic neutral and neutral. Uh, Raven struggled uh, being neutral, but went from neutral to chaotic neutral to something else. It's harder being neutral, chaotic neutral. <laughs> that just sounds like a whole mess I don't even want to get in the middle of. Ugh. I mean, it just sounds like it could be a little, like, a tad confusing. Hello. Hello. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you, Carnley, for all your assistance. You're welcome, I suppose. Alright, so all the way over there, that's Hawk's house. Say goodbye. Bye, Hawk's house. And sadly, they, they this is this is the sad part, because uh, we won't be able to help them. We have our own thing we gotta do. Alright, so let me actually do a hard save here. Um. <laughs> oh, it's harder being chaotic neutral than neutral. Okay. That makes sense. Alright, let's save the game. I think we are good to go. So, what I am going what I'm going to do is let's see here, Prosy said Q Gon is considered a great Jedi too, isn't he? I also apologize if I mispronounce that person's name. <laughs> because normally I do. I always seem to mispronounce things. Alright. So yes, I would like to gather my party and venture forth. We're going to camp. That is the first place we're going to be going. After we see this nightmare. Oh my, I had forgotten about this. <laughs> oh! Look at that thumbnail quality. Yeah, those are some good thumbnails. <laughs> it's okay. All's good. Bad dreams, huh? Must have been something I ate. Drank more like, as in the tainted blood, remember? You see, part oh, of being a Grey mad. Warden is being able to hear the dark heart. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. Normally I would pick the, the one option, not two, do. so. That's the first time that's I've ever heard him sound a little pissed really off. Like I'm sorry, Alistair. Okay. Let's see. The Archdemon. Is that the dragon? Actually, we already know this. Are these dreams going to happen a lot? It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. No. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. 
Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Thank you, Alistair. I appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, <laughs> you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Yay! All right, yeah, plus one in, uh, approval, which I don't know why it's only plus one, but okay. Let's see here. Grey Jedi, you said, it depends who you ask. Some people would say, and some would label him as a goody two-shoe. Oh, wait. Some people would say no, and some would label him a goody two-shoe. Okay. That makes sense, I suppose. Stin! Okay, but first. Ah, it's good and to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service. Once Hi. again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. Ye How does that sound? Good? Yes? Mm hmm. So, have you been following me? Following you? I'm not even certain where you're <laughs> going, my friend. And quite frankly, it's none of my business. Trust me when I say that my encountering you here was serendipity and nothing more. I travel a lot, so I'm bound to meet everyone on the road eventually. If you prefer, I'll take my boy and be on my way. But regretfully, you're the safest spot on this road, without a doubt. I mean, you're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. Oh, he's so cute. Companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Me, <laughs> enchantment. I see Grey Jedi. He said, "Sorry, um, yes, sorry. Sometimes my thoughts get ahead of what I'm trying to type. That's totally fine, dude. Don't you worry Hello. about it, none." The boy's a bit yeah. simple, but he's rather he's good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a what was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Ooh. So, uh, what enchantment does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Mm. But naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's Yeet. a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And enchantment! There you have it. He's so cute! <laughs> All right, let's see what other goods you have. Oh, certainly. I can do that for you. Just come with me. Awesome. Okay. So, let me read the chat because I just saw Process comment pop up. He says, yeah, but a normal Jedi isn't a goody two-shoe. They're the same as Sith, but they're just on the light side. True that. Although I have no room to talk. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh my god, it's the blood dragon stuff! Oh my god, okay. Alistair can get the rest of the blood dragon stuff. Oh my god, okay, so yeah, let's buy those. Buy all that now. Alright, ooh, 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 this is for dog! This is for our little bark spawn! Yay! Yay! Buy it. I know, I'm already using up all the gold already. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Let's actually look at our equipment. Viola. Um, oh my god. We're getting so many good pieces of equipment already. Let me actually take a peek. Plus two ticks there to your species defense. Which the more important one to get? I think it's more important to get the Bard's Dancing Shoes. Look. Y'all can make fun of me all you like. But um, I'm, go I'm, going to, I'm going to make sure I buy the things I need. Um, okay, so hold on, let me see Surveyor. That, I can sell. Mud Idol, I can sell. Uh, that's for Morrigan only, which I think... Yeah, I exchanged it with this, because it's better. Uh, I'll keep this, because Viola can wear it, even though it's just, it's not useful. Uh, I'll go ahead and sell this as well. And I don't think there's anything here that's... Nope. Ah, now here we go, this is what I want to buy. All these. Oh, let's buy all those. Yep, let's buy every single one of them, even though I know they're damn expensive. Inventory full. Damn it! Okay. Um, oh yeah, here's all the junk I could sell. Mm-hmm, I forgot about all of this. Sell all the junk. Let's see, okay, first of all, does he, by chance, have a backpack? Let's look at his other wares. 
He do buy that. Nah, now we got more space. It's always very important to make sure you buy that. As he probably said, but being in a constant light side is not how, you, uh, how you're supposed to live. And Grey Jedi said, right. But by goody two-shoe, I meant as a figure of speech. Yeah, it makes sense, I suppose. Okay, let's buy another one of those. Just in case. And we're good on this. And I... S oh, wait, that's right. I could buy these, too. I could... I could, I could buy these. Ooh, hmm. Okay, we're gonna save our gold. I could buy them now and not have to worry about them later, but I'm gonna save my gold on that. I am gonna buy the lesser injury kits, though. Because we need all the health potions and stuff that we're gonna get. We definitely need them. I need to use this tome, by the way. Or I forget. And I think that's it. Alright. So there we go. Yay, the bard dancing shoes. I got them. I got them now. Let's see if I can. I can! Nice. Okay, so let's actually go over to Liliana. And she can now wear a different set. Uh, can I not wear the other boots? Let me see. Yeah, no, I can wear them. Um, I'll keep wearing the lion's paw for now. Okay, Alistair. There's the gauntlets. That's the helm. And last but not least, the boots. Oh, he's so decked out now. Oh my god, Alistair is decked out completely in dragon blood armor. Yes! Okay, Alistair is going to be coming with us everywhere. <laughs> I love him too much. Um, because I, lo I love his little witty banter. He's a funny man, I love him. I love his funny banter. Okay, I do know that Sten needs better armor than what he's got. So let's go ahead and upgrade him. Uh, to heavy chainmail everything. So let me see. Heavy chainmail, heavy chainmail, heavy chainmail. Uh, so... Ooh, leather gloves! Wait, Liliana needed gloves. Boom, now she's got gloves. So let's, uh, go back to him real quick. We can get rid of those. That. And this, and this. And hold on. Uh, it's the same thing, right? It totally is the same thing. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Right. And let's go over you, puppy dog. Let's see. Um, I'd rather have him have more attack and defense. I will actually sell this, even though it does two constitution. I'll sell it. I, leave, I keep the, the war paints, though, because those can help depending on what situation he's in. Plus, he looks different with every one that you put on. Look at them. I think, hold on. So Vanguard is basically the same thing, and it's white. And this one's black. Okay, so hold on. There's white. That's red, and that's black. So this, like, and I know that down the line, I think there might be designs that are different. But, as far as I know, they're just, right now, they're just different colors. Black, white, and red. Alright. Let's see here. So, Morrigan will definitely stay in our party. Um, up until I get Wynn. And then I'm gonna replace Morrigan with Wynn. Because Wynn has healing magic. But for right now, we do need Morgan in our party because she's really good at fighting. Uh, well, with with her damaging spells. Let's see, Prozzi said, I know, uh, I mean, how do you use quote-unquote goody two-shoes not uh, as not a figure of speech? Uh, Q Gong is a little rebel, though. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, you. This is better. Take it. <laughs> I need to get rid of that sword. Uh, Liliana, unfortunately, I was a derp, and I didn't do her stats correctly. So when the next time she levels up, I think it'll take I think it'll take two times. I think she needs to level up at least two times to get to uh, to get th six points. I think. So I won't be able to actually um, give her the the crossbow. So I'm gonna have to wait on that. She's gonna have, like I said, have to level up two more times before we can give her the crossbow, because I fudged up. That was on me. I messed up. Alright. If there's so let's anything go ahead. I can do for you, please. Yes, let me I'm see your wares. Let me sell the rest of the junk I don't need. So Viola, she needs better weapons, in fact. Oh my god, my strength has to be 30 fucking one to use this shit? Jesus Christ! Screw that! Oh, right! Piece of wood. Let me actually see this with Morgan. Uh, yes, this is actually stronger. But the question is, is this stronger 
than that. Okay, so let me see. Sylvan's Mercy. Five nature resistance, one spell power, and ten nature damage. This one does one health and ten nature resistance. I prefer the piece of wood. It, I mean, these two are basically the same, but I prefer the piece of wood. So, all right, let me go ahead and get... I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure I get this done, because I don't really have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go, and we can get rid of this. And because Liliana's got crossbow, we can go ahead and get rid of the arrows... Uh, which I barely, sadly, use these anyway. Let's go back to him, and let's check his shields. That is stronger, so to speak. Okay, we can get rid of that. Oh, no, don't, don't equip that. that. That's awful. Get rid of that. Alright, because we do need to make some space. We definitely need to make space. It's very important we do this. Um, let's see here. The percentage- the fatigue is is a little bit higher, unfortunately. Missile deflection is actually better. But that one's got a higher chance to reflect. You know, I'll go ahead and get rid of that shield. It's okay, we don't need it. Alright. I think we good. Hold on, why do we have two of the same boots? Hold on. Um, yeah, I forgot to put that in there, so let's do. There we go. Alright, I think we're good. And I said I was going to keep the lion's paw for a little bit longer. Alright, cool. We did it. I want to sell everything. Sell it all. There we go. We now have more space. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A <laughs> pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? A cheese knife? Okay, I'm going to persuade him in a second. Let's see. Uh, Grey Jedi, you said, like I said, it depends on who you ask. The verdict is still out there for me. Oh, sorry. I mean, I suppose that makes sense. I mean, it is, you know, it's definitely something to at least, you know, to ponder and think about. Uh, all right. So, what is your story exactly? Well, if you're really Just interested, nagging in all these characters' ears. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. Oh snap! I was a merchant there too, merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. Mm -hmm. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know, old things, grand things. The nobles love. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Hmm, the lost glory? Our kingdoms once spanned the length of Thados, from majestic Orzammar to Kalsharok to glittering Darmalin far to the west. They say the gold and silver veins ran so thick through the stone of Oh my great Jedi, that is a city long city. comment. The I don't know if I'll be able to read all, all that. Of course, one by one, the old tigers fell, and then all that was left was Orzammar. But we were talking about how I ended up here, weren't we? One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit mm. and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. <gasps> He'd been lost in a oh, cave, no. you see, while on an expedition to clear out the dark spawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. You don't they were say. made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. <laughs> uh, and did you steal them? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The Lost Tigs. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Oh my. Something worth a little gold. Uh. I see. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface. First opportunity I got. Never look back. Huh. And now here you are. Yes, here I am. Now, is there anything the boy or I <laughs> can get you? Let's see, Prozzi said, yeah, I hate that in the new movies, great Jedis aren't explored upon more. Well, sadly, there's that whole, um, whole debacle with the, the latest films not being that great. I can't say for certain because I have not watched any of the latest films. Um, Star Wars film, so I have no opinion. Um, let's see. 
Let us ask why you didn't mention your son in this tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerim, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal here, I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think, and he was never quite right in the head. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. It may not be my blood, true, but I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. Hmm. That's generous of you. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boy's a natural working with enchantments. He might have even been leery addled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. Enchantment. <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. I will say, there's like a thing that you can get Sandal to do in Dragon Age 2. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to because I don't have the DLCs or anything, but who knows? Maybe he, maybe it's something that you can only do on PC with a mod or something. I don't know. I'll look into it. Let's see, Prozzy said, it's just boring, cat. How can you make a space magic movie boring, cat? I, I don't, I don't know. But I guess they did. <laughs> um, okay, but where do these goods come from? Not the deep roads, surely. Look, we, we don't rob people, all right? We don't take things from people that need them. The things in the law's tags, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. Alright, what do you mean? People flee from the Blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And ah. sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the Horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. I mean, it's but uh, I suppose... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I suppose it's better than having the Darkspawn take it. That's what I tell myself, too. Ah, these are dark times indeed. Dark times, my friend. All right, well, I think that's enough talking with you. Of course. With you. Good fortune to you and yours. Goodbye. Boy. Enchantment. 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 <laughs> He's so cute. All right, I've actually got the edge. Uh, I only have one thing. I will say toward, like, the end of the game, I'll def we'll definitely need those. Very important. Hey there, Morgan. What do you wish of me? Uh, I think we are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Oh, never. What never do you mind. wish of me? If you must. Alright, so. Oh my god, there's still more dialogue! Ah, there's so much dialogue! Why? <laughs> well, I did tell you guys this is gonna be a dialogue filled episode, so. Yeah! Mm 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 mm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's see. Great Jedi, you said. Are you playing on Xbox One or 360? I'm playing this backwards compatible on the Xbox One, but I have the original Xbox 360 disc. So, uh, that's how I'm able to play the game. Uh, I don't have all the DLCs for Origins or for um, Dragon Age 2, but Dragon Age Inquisition, I have the Game of the Year edition, so I have all the DLCs. I see, Prossy said, cat dialogue in this game, and the dialogues in this game are the best. And I agree. It's just there's so much of it, and I told you guys that, hey, this is going to be an episode filled with nothing but just us nagging to these characters. And I just, I feel bad because I might be boring all of you guys, and I hope that's not the case. I hope I'm not boring y'all. Because I'm, like, being very quiet and let the characters actually have their chance to speak and things like that and talk. I'm also reading the chat, and I just feel bad because I don't... I really just don't want y'all to feel like you're being bored, or like you're bored from having to listen to all the dialogue that you may or may not have listened to a thousand times before, if that makes sense. I just don't want to bore you guys, that's all. And I love listening to them talk. It's just me. I see Grey Jetty said, oh, that's cool. 
Damn, Sony dropped the ball on PS4. Eh, yeah, I know. It is unfortunate. That's, like, I've, I've heard that, like, not a lot of games became backwards compatible and stuff like that. And what's funny is that Xbox keeps expanding the library on backward compatible games. I am actually looking forward to when they finally do Blood Omen 2 Legacy of Kane. Um, as back as a game that's backwards compatible. I'm hoping that that becomes backward compatible on Xbox One. I really do, because they're bringing original like old Xbox titles on there. I'm I'm excited. I can't wait for it because that's gonna be a game I'm gonna play on Classic Friday, and y'all are gonna like it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, you grew up in the Kakari Wilds, did you? Actually, uh, you know what? Never mind. Let's not ask any questions. Let me first be cool and save my game because I don't want to screw this shit up. <laughs> Um, yes, let's go ahead and save it over this. It'll be fine. All's good. We got this. What do you wish of me? Mm. <laughs> if you must. Okay, so you did grow up in the wilds? Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? Aww. <laughs> um, well, I mean, you, you could if... If you wanted. <laughs> oh, what luck. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many years it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time, I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief mm. forays into a civilized wilderness. Let's see here. Uh, Grey Jetta, you said, I'll never buy another PlayStation console ever. Ever. Well, I mean, I'm, I don't, okay, I will say this. There's a lot of good games on, on PS4 if you think about it. If you think about it, there is a lot of good games on PS4. A lot of exclusive, a lot of really good exclusives. And then, of course, you got games from developers that are really good developers. Okay. Like, if you think about it, one game that I'm super looking forward to, like, super looking forward to, is um, Death Stranding from Hideo Kojima. Because I absolutely love that man. I love Metal Gear Solid, and I hate what Konami had done to it. We don't speak of Survive. We don't. Not on this channel. Not anywhere near me. Anytime I hear, and I... Please forgive me for saying it out loud. Metal Gear Survive. <clears throat> I hate that. I hate putting the word Metal Gear and... Okay. We don't use the Metal Gear name next to that word. If people like playing it, that's cool. You know, I'm not gonna bash them for liking the game because, you know, it seems... You know, pretty solid in some aspects. But it feels like it was nothing but a cash grab with the Fox engine. It really did. Personally, for me, because it just. It didn't feel Metal Gear Solid. Okay? It didn't feel like a Metal Gear Solid game. And obviously, it wasn't. It was a spin off. But st the, still, the fact remains, it just. It just didn't feel right, personally, for me. You know? Yeah, that's right. Process. Exactly. To be fair, it's not Kojima's creation. It's not. No. I absolutely. You're absolutely right. Um. Let's see here. Prosy said, I love Hideo Kojima. Oh my god, he's a god. He is amazing. And he he's actually a pretty funny person <laughs> in general. He's really cool. You know, all the all the cool movies um, and, and all the references he's done. It's just... Oh. He is... He's amazing. Uh, let's see. Prosy said, Konami is just Japanese EA in my opinion. I can't say... I can't say that for certain because they actually had done good with allowing people to use the Castlevania name um, or the Castlevania copyright, uh, like to make the good anime. We got the, that beautiful Castlevania anime because Konami said, okay, you can use it. You know, I like that they allowed, uh, I think it was Frederator, uh, to animate it. And for, I don't want to, I, I really feel like I'm going to mispronounce the director's name, so I'm not going to say it. I know who he is, I just can't pronounce his name. Let's see, Grey Jada, you said, hey, uh, you want to get PS4? Then you go for it. I spent $600 when PS3 came out to show so much support. I got a lot of games for PS3 that I wanted to play on PS4, and what did they do? They dropped the ball on PS4. 
No, I understand, man. I understand. It just really sucks that a lot of the games that you absolutely love on PS3, you can't play on PS4. It does suck. It does. But, still, it's, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to explain what I mean, but I still feel like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what it is I'm trying to say, but I think, I think you understand what I'm, what I mean. Because, like, for instance, they brought a lot of games back, like, a lot of PS2 titles as a backward compatible on PS3. One of them being Rogue Galaxy, which I love Rogue Galaxy. That was one of my favorite games on the PS2, and I'm so glad it was backwards compatible on PS3. When my friend Adam over on Gamers Platform here on Twitch, when he uh, pulled, like, opened his PS3, or turned on his PS3 and, and was streaming through it, and he showed us his massive library, I was, like, looking through all the tiles. I was like, oh my god, you have Rogue Galaxy? He's like, yeah, I've been meaning to play it. I'm like, dude, don't waste time. Play it now, because <laughs> it's such a good game. Let's see here, Grey Jetty said, yeah, uh, same thing with Arena Net. Uh, I bought Guild Wars 2, and a couple of years later, Arena Net makes the game a free to play. I find that betrayal and kicker is that they really didn't have to go free to play because the servers weren't dead. I mean, I don't. Uh, now, that I can't say nothing about because I'm not really a Guild Wars player. I, d I will say that if you go to my Twitter feed, that I did speak a lot about it. Um, in fact, it's like one of my pinned comments, but that was because of something that happened a few months back. I see process like, ah, oh, yes, the anime is good though, but uh, still, Konami is just like EA. They've uh, been a money grabber these years. Yeah, these past few years, they totally have. I see process said, oh, don't worry, I have a PS4 and I play it for my exclusive goodness PS4 games. Yeah, there's a lot of good exclusives. Spider-Man PS4, uh, God of War, um, then there's, of course, Detroit Become Human. Um, I mean, there's just so many good games. So many good games. Um, I can't say Red Dead 2 because Red Dead 2 is on Xbox and PS4. Um, actually, and I can't remember which one of these is the right option, so I think it's going to be this one. Would you not do the same? Your world is an unforgiving and cold place. Mm -hmm. The wilds I mm -hmm. hail from is home to me and I a natural denizen. Mm -hmm. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be overwhelming. Oh. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. True that. <laughs> Very daring. That sounds like you. <laughs> Equal parts daring and foolhardy, perhaps. Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped and began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. <laughs> oh, that was quick thinking. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. <laughs> I played the weakling and battered my eyelashes at the captain of the guard. <laughs> Child's play... <laughs> the point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, tis not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? Ah. <laughs> uh... I have no idea. I'm not human. Do not speak to me of trivialities. Your culture is not so entirely different. <laughs> there were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of. When to look into another's eyes. How to eat at a table. How to bargain without offending. None of these things I knew. <laughs> I still do not understand it all, truth be told. But then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. Aww. <laughs> I guess the joke's on you. That, that'd be a dick thing to say. Um, let's see here. Prozzy said, The one game uh, that makes me buy a PS4 is Bloodborne. God, that game is so good. Uh, Persona 5, God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, Detroit Become Human, Bloodborne, Spider-Man. So many good games. There is a lot of good games on PS4. Totally a lot. Oh, that reminds me. There's another... And, and Okay, now, 
Say what you like about David Cage. The very first David Cage game I ever played was um, Indigo Prophecy. I will say that once that game becomes backwards compatible on the Xbox One, I will definitely be playing that for Classic Friday as well. Because that was one of my very first David Cage games. So I will be very excited to play that. Let's see, Grey, Je uh, Grey Jedi, you said, I'm a big RPG fan, and there aren't many RPG games that are exclusive to PS4 or to any specific console that I really like. There are, like, one or two here and one there, um, but not a lot of RPGs that I like that are exclusive to specific console. Yeah, I mean, now, I do... Uh, so the thing is, is that I, pref I like games that are on every platform. Does that make sense? I prefer games when they're on multiple platforms, because then that way everyone can enjoy them. You know? PC will always be superior, I know. I don't need to go down that path, that, that war path again, but... Still, you know, I feel like it's, it's probably best for everyone to be able to enjoy it no matter what platform it's on. You know? Everybody should enjoy the game, but sadly, you know how certain things go. Games can only be exclusively released on certain platforms, so... But still! Let's see, Prozzy said, but we're gonna get the same goodness that is Cyberpunk 2077 on all platforms, Great Jedi. That's true, that's right. That's actually true. Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be badass, and I love it. And of course, there's Kingdom Hearts uh, 3 that's coming out next month, which I will be playing that as soon as I it becomes available and it gets into my hands. So, that's another thing, too, uh, when I found out uh, this past E3 that, it was, that uh, Resident Evil... 2 Remake was going to be released in July. I was like, oh my god. I already am paying for, for Kingdom Hearts 3. I won't be able to pay for this. <laughs> so. Let's see, Prosy said, and the other worlds are going to be on all platforms too. That's true. Yeah. Let's see, Great Jedi said, I mostly play Dragon Age, Elder Scrolls, Mass Effect, uh, Jade, Fallout series, and guess that, uh, and guess what? They're out on PAC. Of course, yeah. And see, that's the reason why I prefer games that are on multiple platforms. Because it's What's the word I'm looking for? That way everyone can play. Like I was saying before. I, I like when there's a game that releases on every platform because then everybody can play. It's kind of similar to how I feel um, about... There was another game. You know, I, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at that because we're just going to be sitting here all day. And... Yeah. <laughs> yes? Let's ignore the entire Darkspawn threat and the presence of a simpleton as your only other Grey Warden ally, then. Not that I lack appreciation for the intent of your comment. Thank you. Well, let's Aww. get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? Oh. Mmm. Plus seven approval. Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Jade Empire is a good game, I will admit. Okay, let me just see something here. Alright, that was before. This was the aftermath. So we're gonna just do a new save. Hmm. Okay. Well then. Let's see. Prozzy's a cat. The deluxe edition of Kingdom Hearts 3 is so tempting. Help. I wasn't even aware that there was a deluxe edition. <laughs> I don't even remember what version I got. I think I just got the regular what game. What do you wish of me? I really honestly don't know. Anyways, let's, uh, let's uh, I wanna ask you something. If you must. Alright. God. So have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Ooh. You really had no trouble with them? I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps was bravado on Flemeth's part, mm. or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Ooh. Let's see here. Prosty said, um, Kingdom Hearts will always have a special place in my heart. Same. I, I grew up with the series. I absolutely love it. The steel book and art book, Cat. Ah, oh, it looks so cool. Okay, then sadly, yeah, I don't have that version. I just got the regular game. <laughs> Let's see. Grey Jedi said, as for Cyberpunk 2077, I want to get that game, but I'm reluctant to get it because 
of the level of augmentation uh, of the level of augmentation uh, weirded me out for some reason. Even though I can play Deus Ex hum uh, Mankind Divided just fine. Have you played Human Revolution? Because that's just as good. <laughs> uh, I can't figure out what it is. Uh, I can't figure out what it is yet. I mean, I mean, it all really depends. Um, because the thing is, is that I'm actually really interested to see how, like, how in depth the aug uh, the augmentations go. Like, I know that you can like do a lot of augmentations. Uh, oh, you did. Cool. That was a good game. Now that was the first one. That was the first Deus Ex game I ever played. Freaking love the voice actor for Adam Jensen. I never asked for this. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Okay. I'm sorry. I should just. I should just shut up and let's just continue on with the story. Sometimes, eventually. <laughs> Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere, and we would be lost within the forest once again. Mm. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see. Prosty said, yeah, I hope I can replay as a melee-only character in Cyberpunk. That would actually be kind of interesting. I know what a pro I know what an a pro uh, why 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 would you okay hmm 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 I don't remember which one was the best maybe this one but I think this one I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear and I think that it was necessary there are no trials for apostates no prisons no mercy there are only absolutes. So only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? <laughs> um... No, you're probably right. <laughs> An enlightened view. Or at least an agreeable one. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Okie dokes. I feel like there could have been more from there, but yeah. Let's see, uh, Prosty said, yeah. Uh, or a bow. I don't know why I like cyberpunk stuff with bows, not guns. And that's why I like Hanzo so much. Hanzo is awesome. He's so cool. I'm more of a McCree player, though. <laughs> I tried Hanzo, but I realize I'm just not that great with him, which is weird. I, I would like to practice a little bit more with him, though, eventually down the line. Uh, let's see here. Grey Jedi, you said Kingdom Hearts is so cool, but it's just not my cup of tea. I know, it, it's it's actually funny. Um, there was a video I saw this morning, it was only 32 seconds long. And it says, Kingdom Hearts, in a nutshell, or something like that. And it basically had the old, um, I think it was like House of, maybe it was an old House of Mouse cartoon, I'm not sure. Uh, but it had Mickey Mouse and Goofy in it, and they were just going back on... Is there somebody here? No, there's nobody here. Nobody here. So I'm like, yeah, I mean, no, there's nobody here. Are you sure there's nobody here? Because we're here. And he's like, yeah, no, we are here, but we're not, we're not those nobodies. We're like, we are nobodies? And Mickey's like, no. And just them going back and forth. They're like, and, and Mickey's like, we're somebody's. Goofy's like, somebody's. But I thought there was nobody. <laughs> and then suddenly he's like, no, Goofy, we're the somebody. And I mean, and then he's like, well, who's the, then who's the somebody? Is it, where's the others? And, like, and then Mickey's like, there's nobody. And then Goofy's like, Sorry, Mickey, somebody told me that there's nobody here. It's just, it was a whole mess. It was just so confusing, but adorable. I'll have to find the video, because I shared it on my Discord. Um, I'll have to find what it and post it me? on Twitter as well. I have so many things on if Twitter I need to post. Uh, I, need to I need to remember to post the fan, uh, the fan film, Sonic fan film to Prosta, and also that. <laughs> Let's see, Grey Jenny said, oh, have you guys... Uh, Guys or gals heard of the upcoming RPG-based Star Wars game? Well, there was going to be... I mean, okay, now I know there's another one. Yes, I did hear about another... R uh, I did hear about another RPG-based Star Wars game by another company entirely. I'm excited for that one. I actually am excited for it. Um, okay, no, no, he's not talking about that one, Prosta. That's not the one he's talking about. There was another one by another company. That's making this. I've actually heard about this. I heard about it very briefly. But there is another another Jedi game. Another, excuse me, another Star Wars game. Um, very briefly, I heard about it. Uh, I can't remember who it was. But it's not, it's not, no, it's not the Core Tour remake. And it's not by EA. It's, it's something else entirely. 
Um, sadly, like I said, the only one I do remember more of is definitely the, um, sadly the one by EA that Visceral was going to make, but then forced Visceral to close its doors and then take it over to someone in EA to work on, uh, which I guess by now they canceled it. Uh, let's see, Grey Jetty said, I'm so glad that Disney can't pull plug on the upcoming Star Wars game that they like, uh, that like they did with Star Wars 1313. No, agreed. Yeah. It's just... We don't need that. <laughs> well, that, that depends. Does it? We not? need we need what a good Star Wars seem game. To be. Um, <laughs> a power from Maleficar. You mean is she truly the Flemeth of legend and story? Mm -hmm. Tell me, how much do you know of the tale, the one that the Chastened still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience? Well, I'm more interested in the truth. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. I mean, that sounds interesting. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful, Ooh. a fair lass in a land of barbarian men, the desire of any who saw her. Ooh. All right. So how long ago is this? Many centuries before this land was even named Ferelden. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osin the Bard and fled the castle of her husband, the dread Lord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that t'was Osin who was her husband and Conobar the jealous Lord who looked on from afar. Lord Ooh. Conobar approached young Osen and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. And Osen agreed. Oh, damn. Let's see. Grey Jetty said it's being developed by Respawn Entertainment. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who were led by former Activision producer and director who did Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. And their first game was Titanfall uh, when they started Respawn Entertainment. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Let's see, Prozzi said, by Respawn Entertainment, the one that made Titanfall. Hmm, the div, uh, that dev is, uh, is promising. It doesn't state it's going to be an RPG, though. Now, that I can't say if it really is or isn't, but still, um, hmm. I, I will say that, um, it's very interesting to me because, um, if you think about it, Okay, hold on. I'm trying to think. Titanfall 2, unfortunately, was released during a bad time. There were so many good games, or, like, there was an event that was happening. I don't remember what it was, but Titanfall 2 was, uh, like, was overshadowed by some, like, other games or events that were coming. I don't know what it was. So, sadly, it didn't sell as well as a lot of people would hope it would. But, I do know that those were good games, I will say. Um, let's see. Grey Jedi, you said the, R uh, the RPG Star Wars game is the aftermath of Order 66 and takes place between Episodes 3 and 4. Process that Respawn doesn't make RPG games. I don't think this will be an RPG game. I really honestly don't know. You I mean, you may be surprised. Anthem... Oh, no, I should, I should not. Actually, I should shut my mouth because I really can't say if that is or is not. Alright. So, wait, he sold his wife to another man? The life of a bard is a poor one. And love fades in the wake of hunger. T'was Flemeth who suggested mm. the arrangement. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Oh, Osen was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed and swore revenge. Oh. Mm. That was not the point. Conobar had no honor, so she would not have him. Flemeth begged the spirits to aid her, and twas they who slew Conobar. The demon the legend tells of came later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the Lowlands centuries later. All lies. Ooh. 
Uh, even my people have heard of Cormac. The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner, and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people. That makes sense, Brosset. Yeah. Claimed it was to if vanquish Monster Hunter is considered an RPG, then the yeah. Lords. Yeah. Thus, which I think it is, a in a way. If you think about Flemeth it. was only attached to the legend much later. You are role Perhaps playing due as to the a great war with the Chastened as a monster hunter. came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. I do not believe everything that Flemeth claims. Oft it seems her bitterness has colored her memories. But on the whole, yes, I believe this tale, if not all. Huh. The demon within her has transformed her into something else. An abomination, perhaps, some would say. Mm. I know not. I only know my mother is clever, ah. and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her. But she is no immortal. She bleeds. A blade in her heart would kill her like any other, were it lucky enough to find her. True that. Let's see, Grey Jedi said, So my speculation on the Jedi character you will be playing will probably be one of the remaining survivor of the Order 66, or one of the Padawans who were training in secret Jedi Templar and or facility. I mean, that actually would be pretty interesting if that's, the, if that's the story arc that they decide to go with, I will say. You ask if I have sisters? I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds, after all, not just the one. And these tales existed right, I just long I hit the before three hour, I did. I'm, I'm already past Flemeth the three hour mark. refuses to speak of other daughters, if Once we're done existed. talking with so more we'll call it I believe call it I quits. am her first? I doubt that too. So why does she refuse to speak of them? The Chastened tell of a falling out between Flemeth and that? her daughters. <laughs> it was Luna. They say that oh, one gosh. day she hunted them all through you the wilds dog. and ate their hearts. It may be true. I have never seen another witch or heard of one. Perhaps one day Flemeth will eat my heart as well. So aren't abominations usually insane horrors? How often is this usually? Always? If not always, then when is it not true? There are more things in this world mm -hmm. and the next than you or I could ever hope to understand. What Flemeth became is a mystery. I suspect even to her. Let's see here. Prosty said, YouTube is annoying. Your videos aren't showing up in my sub box. Okay, let me ask you this, Prosty. Did you hit the bell icon by chance? Um, when you, when you subscribe to my channel, if you guys don't hit the bell icon... I, I should say this. When you subscribe to YouTube channels and you don't hit the bell icon, um, you actually, nine times out of ten, will not receive a notification of someone uploading a video. For me, I actually did have this set up to where, uh, like for some channels, I have hit the bell icon. So that way my phone would always give me a notification saying, hey, look, this, this person posted a new video. Like, awesome. So... Sadly, unfortunately, the only ones that I'm waiting for, like, those videos, one of them, one of the channels, Super Best Friends Play, they actually are not uploading any more videos. So, okay, here's a quick thing for those of you guys who made it this far into the stream. First of all, congratulations. <laughs> on, and this is, like, for YouTube later. Um, but yeah, if you guys do not know anything about Super Best Friends or have not been keeping up with any of their latest, or at least the very last video that they uploaded, basically they were saying that they have... Stop! They're gonna stop uploading the videos on that channel. So, but yeah, that's yeah, that's just something I, I just I felt like everyone should know. If you are fans of Super Best Friends but have not seen any of the like any of their recent content, uh, the last video they made basically said we are gonna stop uploading videos. They'll keep the channel up because they know people love all the videos that are on there, but. They are going to stop uploading videos. So there is no more videos being uploaded at all. And it's actually kind of sad because I was really looking forward to seeing how far that they can go in Kingdom Hearts. And they got pretty far. I mean, the hell, they were on the Ursula boss fight, which was pretty damn dope. Like, the second version of it. not Like, not the first one where they're in the her, like, her secret lair. This is when she's actually, like, Humongo size. That's the that's the boss fight that they stopped on. Let's see here. Uh, process a no. 
Really? Oh my god, I rarely hit the bell icon though. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how you get. That's how you usually get notifications for videos. If you tech hit the bell icon, you'll definitely get updates on videos. Uh, Prosy said because of um that. Oh yeah, that you were upset about that whole thing about the Super Best Friends channel finally stopping. Yeah, f stopping uploads. He said because of that, I wasn't in the mood for playing games. I know it was actually really hard for me to, this like that morning. I was like, man. Here I am, I woke up at 4, I'm trying to go back to sleep, and then there it is, 5 a.m., boom. There it was. The notification let me know that, hey, we're not doing YouTube videos anymore, and I'm just... Ugh. Let's see, Grey Jedi said, I hope that they will add a SIS class, or SIS class, yeah, that has two or more racial background stories for replay value like Dragon Age Origins. That would actually be pretty damn dope, dude. For uh, for Kortar or for like a for the other game, like the the the, the other Star Wars game. I see, Prosy said I'm really sad about that. I was looking forward to their DMC five playthrough. Yeah, and a lot of people were also looking forward to their uh, for their um, Resident Evil two playthrough as well. And it's just it really really sucks. A lot of people were looking forward to the Resident Evil two gameplay or playthrough and their eventual Devil May Cry playthrough. I see here, uh, Grey Jedi said, I was looking forward to Ashes of Creation, uh, open beta, uh, when the open beta would go live by now. Or, yeah. You're looking forward to Ashes of Creation, the open beta should, uh, should go, or would be going live by now, yeah. Um, let's see, Prosty said, it was, it was night for me, I just cried myself to sleep that night. I mean, yeah, for me, it was, like, super early in the morning, which, they... Their schedule, like, for me, because I live in the central time zone, it was 2 p.m. for the first video and 8 p.m. for their second video. It was like clockwork every day. That's how they uploaded their videos, was at 2 p.m. for me and 8 p.m. So I always kept up to date. And sadly, well, we all know what happened. Anyway, that was a very interesting story. With far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare Thank I you. ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, tis true, but I find myself curious, nevertheless. Oh, you're more than welcome. Um, my mother died before- uh, Well, actually, no, this is actually kind of funny, because you can actually kind of come up with your own ideas for this. Uh, for instance, with my male mage warden who was romancing her, um... He actually, like, in my head canon for him, he actually had no idea who his mother was. Like, all he knew was that when he was born, she died uh, at childbirth. So that's all he knew about her. I think that's, like, how the story, like, the head canon that I had for my male mage. Because um, I wasn't sure. I actually can't remember because it was so many years ago. But I think that was the head canon I picked, was that he has, that he, he didn't know her at all. Hmm. I think the same kind of sort of goes for the city elf character. I can't remember. She... She might have been. Like, I don't know when she died. All I know was that her, mo her mother died doing something. What was it? God, I can't even remember. Oh, well. Uh, I can't remember. We'll, we'll, we'll just say that she died before uh, when she was born. Ah, oh, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. Okay. Let's see here, Prost, uh, oh no, I already read that. Let's see, Grey Jedi, you said, have you guys tried Monster Hunter World? Yes! I've actually, I actually am playing it, um, just very slowly. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't have, I don't have any of the, um, I don't have any of the Don I don't have Dante's armor. There's just so much. I, I let us not speak of it because there's so much to, to explain. <laughs> All right, I think this is a good place to stop though, um, because I have been streaming for over three hours, and my niece has actually been very. You probably have been, you've probably heard her in the background. I make it a personal policy not to stream when she's awake, but we were already so far in, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna see what happens. I've decided to stream again today with her awake. I've streamed with her awake in my streams before. Like, she, you know, she was there with me when I played The Witcher 3 and things like that, but... So, yeah. I think this is where we're gonna call it here. So let me actually catch up on the last couple comments here. 
Uh, Prasa said that he's clocked a total of 200 hours on that game. And Monster Hunter World. Uh, Grey Jedi said, I played Monster Hunter 1 and 2 and I was done. Prasa said, I played on the PS4 for 150 hours and the PC for about 80. And Jedi, you said, have you guys heard of Project Awakening? I kind of heard of Project Awakening, but I still don't know much about it, so I, I can't really say for certain. Um, okay, so let me actually, let me do some calculating here. Yeah, I've definitely streamed for over two hours, or excuse me, three hours and ten minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here, because I have been streaming for a long time, and I need to take a break, and I don't have a drink, because my water's in the freezer and I forgot to pull it out. Oops. <laughs> um... Um, let's see. Well, I can't click the link here, uh, but you are more than welcome to whisper it to me personally, but for, like, everyone else, yes, you're more than welcome to post the trailer link, uh, in the chat there. But go ahead and whisper it to me as well, because I'm not gonna, I, I will, when I go back and look through this, um, uh, I will have to, uh, do some editing. Anyways... Uh, let me see here. Prasta, he said, yep, thanks for the stream, cat. See you next time. Well, thank you, Prasta, for joining me. Uh, we have no new announcements. So all I can say is that you already know in the chat by now, you probably saw Nightbart saying, hey, look at this, we got merch, and hey, look at this, we got, we got donation, and hey, look at this, there's, uh, all these other, look at these LPs. Which, by the way, I need to fix my, um, I need to fix my playlists on, uh, YouTube. Because I do have some completed games, and I don't, or like games I haven't completed. I need to make, I need to fix that all, that all up because it's not, it's, yeah. I see, Prozzy said, "Cat, there's a new DMC trailer. I don't want to be spoiled on it. <laughs> That's why I actually have not touched it yet. I've heard that there was one, um, or at least there was going to be one, and it seems like you were correct, Prozzy. <laughs> um, I mean, I'll look into it if it's not that, if it's not that, you know." Spoiler ish. Actually, that reminds me, Prasta, if you've heard, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, like, I, I think it was like early this morning, if not yesterday uh, morning. Yeah, it was yesterday morning, I think, where I come to learn that Kingdom Hearts 3 was spoiled a little bit. So. No, no, no. Oh, I mean, look, I mean, it, it depends. Like, there's people who. <sighs> Never mind. It's hard to explain what I'm trying to say. Um. Uh, Let's see, Prosy says about V. Oh, I might take a peek at it then. It really all depends. Let's see, Grey Jedi. Yeah, I mean... Well, look, all I could say is that there was a lot of... There was, like, some videos going around about Kingdom Hearts 3 yesterday. Um, like, super early in the morning and things like that. And he was, he was basically spoiling the entire game for everyone. And a lot of players were already saying, Hey, don't look at this stuff. It's spoiler territory. It's gonna spoil the game. So, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's... You know. Anyways, I I need to... Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Process like, yeah, there's a leaked whole game already. So, I have to... Hold on just a minute. I saw in your comment there, Prosty said not to watch the DMC, the latest DMC5 trailer. Like I said, I will think about it. Right now, I've got, I've got something I'm trying to take care of here, and I'm trying to end this stream here. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, guys. I do apologize. Wait, did I just, I just save, didn't I? No, I did not. I was about to, and then I had to stop for a second. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, because as you probably can hear from the background, my niece is... She needs me right now, and I need to take care of her. So, and my phone's actually dying because I didn't chart, I didn't actually plug it up this time. I had it at 100% and decided I'm not going to plug it up this time. 
So, anyways, I need to take care of her. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, you already know what about to do. I'm not doing my outro right now because I've got things on my mind I gotta take care of. But you already know what to do about all that. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, you probably look at the description and see that there's a new link and stuff on there. That's, you know... Uh, that's something I will be actually doing eventually is actually buying one of those because I want to actually see how good the quality is myself. Just not now, unfortunately. Let me go ahead and... Oh, that's so sad because someone just came in and I'm actually about to stop streaming. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Prosta, for joining me. Great Jedi said, uh, are you done for the day or will you be back in an hour or two? No, I'm done for the day, man. Um, and usually I only stream for two hours, but I was lucky enough to be able to stream for three because this game is pretty long. I feel like I need to stream for three hours. Um, because of how long this game is. So yeah, uh, Ichio, Ichio-san, I'm so sorry. I know you just popped in the stream, or maybe you've been here for a while, I'm not sure. But I'm sorry, man, I'm about to end the stream, so I greatly appreciate it. Let's see, Great Jedi said, alright, have a good one. I will be playing this game tomorrow, though. So if you want to come back, 7 a.m. Central Time, uh, that's, I'll be playing this game again. The only time I won't be playing is on the 20th. Because that's my um, third year anniversary on Twitch and YouTube. So, I will be playing the game that everyone voted for on the Twitch picks. Let's see. Uh, Great Jetty said, hope you check out Ashes of Creation and try it. I don't know if I'll be able to try it, but I definitely have seen people playing it. In fact, one of the YouTubers I follow, he's been playing it a lot lately. So, who knows? We'll see. Oh, you have been lurking, Ichio. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Ichio-san, for uh, joining me in the stream today. Um, it, like I said, like I've been saying the last few streams, it's okay if you guys lurk. Because sometimes just having me on as background noise while you're working or just anything. Or even just like silently watching, it's totally fine. Don't, don't be upset. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Kat the Gamer Gal. This was Dragon Age Origins. And remember to be cool, play safe, and stay awesome.